up, everybody, and welcome to Flake, and we're back, mm. okay? Listen, we went to Australia, and, uh, you know, Diddy was a pillar of the community. <laughs> he had just given his masters back to all of his artists. Yeah. I mean, he was in a beautiful, loving relationship. Alex Starry's starting to sweat and adjust his seat. He doesn't know how to handle this topic. Nah, we, we come back from Australia, Al. Yeah. Something has gone amok. It is amok. What is happening? It's amok. No, this is all allegedly. Mm. This is all allegedly. <laughs> this is 100% oh, alleged. This ain't gonna go. Okay? I'm just saying, <laughs> Al, can you fill us in? No, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. So what happened with Diddy and Cassie? According to the New York Times, Diddy was out here bumping up a lot of people. What? Bumping up the community. I know we're not using a grape word. I yeah, don't know if we no. say that. Dude. I know it's we're not, not using funny. a grape word. <laughs> not you know funny. what I mean? You, why you get laughed? <laughs> With all due respect. Stop. With all due respect. What did I say? That's a humorous thing. <laughs> with, I, th these are facts reported by the New York Times. With no, all due respect. With all due respect. Let's just be serious right now and have a serious conversation because <laughs> this is an innocent man. It's innocent bro. until proven guilty. Why are you so nervous, bro? bro yeah, this is nervous. Alex wore camo for this reason, bro. Yeah. Like, no one's gonna see him. No one's gonna see me. But well, come on, bro. Well, you Don't think just because you dress like Kid Cudi, you're gonna get your car blown up? <laughs> no. Is, that, what you think is, gonna is that another allegation that's being thrown at the it Didster? Is. Yeah, it is. It is being thrown at, at the Didster with all due respect. Al, he's not gonna shave the side of your head. Why are you so nervous over here, bro? <laughs> <laughs> everything's gonna be fine. Al, everything's gonna be fine. Maybe you should just. I'm, I'm glad Cassie got justice. There we go. I'm glad she got justice. What? She didn't get justice. She got money, bro. That's justice. Talk to us. That's Speak justice. on that. Yeah. That hair looks fucking good. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. You look yeah. fucking Hair's good. Fine. You done you glowed know? up, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you, know? you know, I'm trying to get Diddy. Diddy but um, yo, <laughs> do you think this was Diddy? Diddy pretended to be gay so we wouldn't know about this? Like, mm. son, for all those years, the gay rumor was hovering, so we never had the grape rumor. Yep. Oh. Uh, All we heard about was the gay rumor, and yeah. gay is like root beer. Like, once you throw gay on it, we can't think of anything else. We can't taste anything <laughs> yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. So he was all gay. Now this gets thrown out. Obviously, the streets respect a little more. They respect, they no. respect the weight of the allegations and they, they handle it with care and sincerity. That's what he means. What do I mean? That's yeah, all he means. Yeah. Which Say streets? What I mean. they, the streets respect that I this is a heavier allegation. I thought the streets was like, yo, Diddy back. <laughs> we ain't going we ain't nowhere. nowhere. <laughs> we ain't, we ain't nowhere. gay. <laughs> Ow, I on. think it's you ain't <laughs> going <laughs> nowhere. Yo, you ain't. it was a royal we. We fucked up on that. Yeah. Now we got to look back at all the songs. Because you different. bad boy for life. That's <laughs> yeah, it. Bro. Yeah. Fuck. Shit. Yeah. Okay. Now you're a notorious Cuddy hater. So are Me? you? Yes. You are I hate a notorious. Kid you are I the love Kid Cuddy. You're the president of the hater club. Don't Son, forget this. I mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't he do that? When they asked Kid Cuddy for a comment, like, did he blow up your car? That's what he did. They He's did. Like, mm -hmm. That's how he communicates. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All hums. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Do are, you, I, are you glad he blew up his car? Be honest. No, first of all, <laughs> Yeah, when, I didn't know he was a Kick Cudi hater. You, you didn't know Kick Cudi? No, I didn't know that. Bro, oh my gosh. We're going to forget this? Which which song? Kick Push? Which song? <laughs> <laughs> Kick Push is fire. Oh, bro. that was fire. Kick Push close. Yeah. Anyway we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, way it's we more go. sarcasm. The way we go. <laughs> more sarcasm. Kick Push. Yeah, yeah. Kick Push coast. And the way we go. That's just a good song. Yeah. Just two lonely souls. Come, Come on. That's a man. good song. Keep going. I don't going. know the words. I don't know the words. Push. Kick, yes. push, coast, kick. and away we go. That's There's a banger. two lonely souls, and we do the big. Wait, wait. See, that's what I mean, bro. He's being yeah, sarcastic. I do, yeah, I do know that's Lupe Fiasco, yeah. man. Yeah, you didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was waiting. I was, I was like, waiting for the turn. Like, wait a minute. He really don't know. <laughs> Yo, Asalamu alaikum, uh, Lupe. Lupe. Kid Cudi is. Asalamu alaikum, Lupe. Kid Cudi is. If you are what, what they you say you are, a you're super a super star. <laughs> Come on, That's bro. also Lupe Fiasco. Oh, yeah, yeah, you okay. fucking phony! <laughs> what you mean? You I'm, don't I'm know people, too. You don't know people as well. No, he's like, he's the press in his room, right? That's his shit. Mm -hmm. Who? Kid Cudi? Kid day Cuddy's and night. Kid Cudi's day yeah, and night. Day yeah. and I'm on the pursuit of happiness. That shit goes hard. Oh, that one That's Steve Aoki, I thought. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's the guy that when he's performing, Steve there's... Steve Aoki's Neptunes. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Wait a minute, what's going on? But no, <laughs> but Steve Aoki throws the cake at people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a talented DJ, and his mm -hmm. father started Benny Hannes. Mm -hmm. Kid Cudi 
is the rapper that when he performs, there's a gravitational pull to objects towards his head. <laughs> See? Oh, hey. y'all both got that in common. You have water bottles thrown at you. When did I have a water bottle thrown at me? <laughs> Wait, what so was that? Way back in the day at Edgin Root? That was a beer bottle. No, it was when water Al bottle. threw a water bottle I at I threw face. a water bottle. Oh, that was not on stage. Mm. Yeah, I know. That's well, just I my just... friend being an asshole. Yeah, you, know? <laughs> you had a candle thrown at you. Yeah, exactly. You, you really wanted us to remember that moment. <laughs> you had a candle thrown at you by another he comic. Really, like, we were talking about a way different moment. <laughs> I just... And then you wanted to distract with your shitty throwing ability. No, it wasn't good. You didn't hit me? I did, I did. No. I did. No. No, I did. No. <laughs> I did. We can. We we got the tape. I think we should go back, run we, back. We got run the tape. Run it back. Run back. The Whatever tape, I said, I I still believe it. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. At least I wasn't just singing one of my hits. <laughs> okay. No, this was this was what uh, I ain't do the white boy humor yet. Mm. <laughs> and, and suck my dick still meant something. <laughs> Yo, suck my dick does mean something. Right, especially when Not. Sean Puffy Combs says, <laughs> <laughs> okay? allegedly, al al Yo, allegedly. Yo, y'all gonna get? Woo. Listen, no, no, what no, do you no, think no. is gonna happen? Nah, nothing. You Absolutely seem, nothing. You seem, uh, nah, nothing's gonna happen. You don't think anything's gonna no, happen? You seem a little frightened. You seem a little concerned. No, nah, I just think he's gonna try to make an example out of someone and sue him for defamation. We're just saying things that are in the art. That New York Times article is pretty in depth. No, nah, I know. But it's like, it's like, you know, he's been defamed. Yeah. Yeah, but if you say, because now. We're saying this is all alleged. Yeah, as long as you say alleged, then we're good. Yeah. Yes. All right, can we go through these allegations and understand well, these are just allegations. Diddy's an innocent man. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, some might say the fact that she was only going for money and not actual justice, justice. Some might say that the motivation was not justice at all. Some might say that she was maybe uh, realizing that she had come to the end of her earning potential as an artist or entertainer and was looking for one last buck. Some might say that, Al. Wouldn't but you why isn't money justice? Oh, interesting point. Good counterpoint, to be honest with you. That's a great fucking counterpoint. That shit counter needed a beat drop, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that shit needed a beat hey, drop. Hey, Doug, Doug, I, wow. Yeah, Manny Fresh need to hit that up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was wow. crazy right there. Why isn't it justice? Yeah. Low key. It is. Low key. You did something bad to me and I'm suing you and now I got I think it's justice maybe for you, but what about the other people out there that could be enduring those crimes that you're accusing the gentleman of? Again, this is an allegation. But now she put everybody on, you know, and like once he, she made it up. Uh, but once she takes the money, we go, nah, she just wanted the money. Some people will, no. but also potentially women can be like, oh, this is what this guy's accused of. Let me at least steer clear. You see what I'm saying? And right. there's other victims who can come forward. And I think also it's and really hard to prove guilt in a criminal case, especially this far after the fact. Like there's no DNA evidence. You probably couldn't go. <laughs> That's so a good ass point. When this guy's having your MRI results of your MRI sent to him first before you get to see them, mm -hmm. I how do I trust that if I go try to get a rape kit? First of all, I'll even get to go with this guy. And hold on, hold on. You're being a little too serious. <laughs> this is getting a little too serious you're about right, this. Right. We gotta keep it silly now. You're we gotta right, keep it right, silly now. Right. Can't go, go, can't go too okay, far. You're right. I, can't go too far. Bring I, it back. Yeah, to, bring I it back now. There's one thing we've learned is you can't go too far. You can't. You can't, you can't, go, you can't go too far into the series. Yeah. We gotta keep this this light. Yeah. You know. Well, gosh, yeah. Take that. Take that. Chill out. Yeah. Yeah. Chill. <laughs> take that. Take that. Yeah. That's crazy. See, bro, the is, signs were there. Man, the signs were there, bro. Los Angeles. You beautiful Botox pedophiles. It's been over two years since I last did a show out here and uh, the city has changed, hasn't it? The housing crisis has been completely solved. Studio apartments are popping up everywhere. Never has it been safer to be a tube of toothpaste. And the 10 freeway. There is less traffic on the 10 than the opening weekend of a female Marvel movie. And because of those accomplishments, I'm coming back. And we're gonna do it at the most iconic HIV memorial in the world, the LA Forum. I'll see you there. It's showtime, baby. Hey, what are you doing here, Mother Beach? Get the fuck out of my house. Baby, you need to take your Ozempic. Oh my God, is that a robber? No, no, don't worry. Go and watch your Coco Melon videos or something. Listen, motherfucker, I called the cops, but the city has none Sorry. at the moment. I will kill you, Mother Beach. Sorry. Get the fuck out. I call all my gangsters. My and the Oscar gang. goes to hmm. Dove Mammon. Wow. <laughs> Dove Mammon. Wow. Fantastic. So good. Amazing so performance. I was so impressed. Amazing. Yeah. Once he got to the gangsters, the he uh, got momentum. He started yeah. really getting into accident. it. He went out and got the... Uh, 
The wig. The, oh, the girl. But the, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. He went out, got the wig. Yeah. Uh, and the glasses and everything like that. I asked it, we were there, we're like, okay, how who do we get to do this? And we're like, who do we know that can play like a sleazy 40-year-old man <laughs> that would uh, have a very young girlfriend? Mm. And yeah, he's like, I don't know. Finally got to to Dom in his true form. Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was he wasn't acting. That's he his super saiyan. Yeah. Dom is a Persian billionaire. He, he really is, dude. He really is. No, heart. but he absolutely killed that. And uh, yo, uh, if you're watching this on Tuesday, uh, the pre-sale is today. It's just 24 hours. So just get there. Get there early while there are tickets there. Uh, LA, we love y'all, man. Can't wait to that show. That's going to be that's gonna be some crazy stuff. The forum is the shit. And uh, one more time, shout out to the fucking legend. Mm. Killed Dove. it. Friday, Dove. Yeah. Yeah, you're the man, Dove. Fucking. Yeah. I think he might need to be like a staple. And, yeah, he was great, dude. And he was the great. This is the thing. Tools. Dove just can't let you have anything. You know what I mean? You saw at the forum, and Dove's like, he's the star. Let me just take. Let me he's just scoop the star. In. <laughs> I might have to ask him if he would dress up as that character for the show. <laughs> he has to come on stage you for the show. Must. You got Must. it. You got it. <laughs> anyway, thank y'all so much, man. Go grab that right now. Also. We have tour dates. Portland, we added a show. Hurry up and buy those tickets before they sell out. You fucking cucks. You have nothing better to do. Don't come in with milkshakes. Come in ready to laugh. Also, UK, I'm coming. Glasgow, London, Manchester. London, we added a show. Glasgow, I think those tickets are finally starting to sell. Maybe I'm because I'm saying the city name correctly. Glasgow. Manchester, those tickets will sell out. Uh, also, I don't know if I've announced this yet. No, I have. No, January 6th, 8th, and 9th. I'm going to be in Oslo, Amsterdam, and Eindhoven. So go there. And then January 18th through the 20th, I'm going to be in D.C. at the D.C. Improv. More dates are on my website, alkashing.com. Hurry up and buy those tickets. Let's get back to the show. You know who we got to get? We got to get on the pod to, to hear their side of this. Hmm. I think we need Mace. Mm. Ooh. I think we need Mace. I think we might need Cam and Mace, low key. That's a great idea. Mace was, he might have been around it. He might have known. Yeah, and 50 Cent. That's what drove him to the church. I, he had to. Yo. He had to. Yo. Bruh. Just clean his soul, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he had to clean his soul. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's possible. <laughs> Why am I crazy? You funny. Nah, funny. We got to talk to Pastor Mason, bro. Yeah. We got to get to the bottom of this, bro. That's what Diddy was doing. Yo. <laughs> 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 oh gosh, you're low key. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. allegedly. You yeah. said keep it silly. I kept it yeah, silly. Yeah, no, allegedly. What do you want from me talking out of both sides of your mouth? <laughs> Isn't that how you talk? How, how, how does one talk? Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> out of both <laughs> sides of the mouth. How do you sound like Cassie on a yeah. Sunday evening? <laughs> <laughs> with a freak off. <laughs> Y'all never had a freak, freak off? off? What was the freak off again? Yo, the freak off is crazy. He craziest. would just beat off to like professional porn stars having sex to Cassie allegedly. Son, allegedly a black cuck, which is like super embarrassing. It's like, come on, dude, that's the cuckiest cuck. Yeah, were the other guys black allegedly? The, 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 the balls they were. I, uh, race wasn't mentioned in the allegations. I think that changes it. Yeah, but what if they were white? <sighs> that's tough. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. You can't do that. Fifth is loving this. Oh, dude. <laughs> His Instagram is so good. Fifth is loving this. Bro. Diddy is paying, which is, it kind of makes you feel like maybe not all of the allegations are true, but enough are true where this is easier to sweep under the rug. But the problem with paying is other people start to look back at their history with you and they go, you know what? Maybe I was a little bit more drunk than I should have been mm -hmm. when we had sex or we did a freak Dude, off. My friend did a music video. He was a PA, a uh, good friend of mine. And he did a Diddy video. This is 2007 or something. Mm -hmm. And he said Diddy had his people listening on the intercom to see if anybody on the crew was saying negative things about him. And then also he was like so paranoid, he would buy his own bag of ice for his drinks. And I was like, that's crazy. Maybe because you're so rich. And then he at the time was, the video was such a nightmare. He was kind of jaded, but he was like, I think also that speaks to, you've done enough bad things to people that you're very paranoid. And you're like, bro, I don't even trust anybody. But I might need my own ice mm. fresh out the bag. Hmm. I don't want my drink touching anybody. I, this is mine. Hmm. He's a paranoid guy. And I think there might be reason. And there might be a lot of people that are coming. Fuck. Yeah. Oscar Pistorius is free. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, that's also true. Yo, these are true things. Come on. Hey, Al. Lane yo, runner. Can we not talk about our African brothers? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Two African men being yo, accused, two, bro. Two African... 
<laughs> I don't even say the R in that word. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> but for real. Yeah. This is um Yeah, take this picture off. Why so you know got what? nicer legs than you? No. He too got nicer he died, legs. Yeah, than that's I a great shot. Too. That's a great shot. I mean, Diddy's always been a good dancer. He's been a good fun dancer. <laughs> No, he's been a good fun dancer. Like his ability to dance, especially around Halloween when he was dressed as the uh, the clown or whatever, and he was, you know, he oh yeah, yeah he yeah. was always a good fun dancer. They are they are good dancers. <laughs> Who's they? Not Rest? black people. <laughs> I'm a guy, homosexual, Allegedly, homosexuals and homosexual black people. I would assume. Whoa, allegedly. Uh, now you're putting gay on them. This is confusing now. Yeah, that's the worst that's, thing you said about him all <laughs> The streets! The streets! <laughs> what streets? The streets are talking out! The streets! What streets? What streets are talking which, out! Which streets specifically? Oh, Name okay. streets for us. Oh, Flatbush. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what they called Cassie's haircut. It's <laughs> rough, dude. It's rough. What's so. What's. Whose side are we on? Uh, the truths. Yeah. Justice aside. Yes. Love you, dog. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Miss you, dog. <laughs> miss you. I fucking miss you. Not Al. Fucking jerk. Damn, right there. Out here apologizing for all these things. <laughs> <laughs> Loving kid Cuddy. You know what I mean? Nah, what come car on, day and night. What day car? What, what was the car? Yeah, that's a good question. That's that is a good, what car was. A good, good Why do you need to know? Nah, nah. That nah, makes a difference. It was a shit car. It's like, uh, he did you a favor. Also, he's a sad guy. Like, don't, don't, you know what I mean? Like, he would off himself in that way. <laughs> and make a big spectacle out of it. <laughs> Don't you think? Like No, he's no? Cuddy. He's Kid Cuddy. He was doing it in silence. You know what I mean? Um, By himself. Oh, not, is that what that comes from? Yeah. Like he was a cutter? I think so. I've heard Yo. Him. Yo. I don't think that's like, I think his name is I think his name is right. No, 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 bet money I'm right no, about that. Hold on, hold on now. That's a reference to that. I bet money I'm random. You're being real disrespectful to Kid Cuddy right now if he wasn't a cutter. His last name is Miss Cuddy. Fuck Scott Miss idiot. Cuddy. Son, you are such an idiot. Kick push close, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I still believe what I said. Yo, I still stand on what I said. Scott Miss Cuddy, bro. You Miss think? Cuddy? Miss yeah. Cuddy. It's a it's, it's an Ethiopian name. <laughs> it's a very proud Ethiopian he's right. name. M E S C U. You are yeah. such an idiot. Is he? <laughs> you really thought he said. You thought he wasn't I cut myself so I'm Kid Cuddy. That don't make sense. No. How does that not know. make sense from Kid Cuddy? Sad ass music. Yo, that is crazy. I thought he did circumcision. I thought he was a moil. <laughs> and I think he went to Jewish school, right? I think he went to Jewish school in Ohio. I'm pretty sure. It's a lot to fact check here. I'm I'm almost positive. I know a lot more about Kid Cudi than you do. <laughs> Maybe not you. You don't even know his songs, bro. <laughs> Day and night. <laughs> the lonely soldiers right. want to sleep in one your one. bed. Give me one other one. Um, That's it. I've been working a slave nope. ship. Nope. <laughs> That's Kanye. Ship. That's Kanye. I wish I could <laughs> find me a spaceship <laughs> and fly <laughs> to <laughs> Palestine. Whoa! 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 What did I say? We're Yo. trying to be apolitical. <laughs> okay. Are you? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Are you trying to be Accept apolitical? Accept in our group chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay? We're trying to be apolitical. 400 messages. Chat. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, I need to give y'all something. Something to you know, enjoy on the plane. No, nobody read that. <laughs> nobody read that. I know two people that did. <laughs> I know two people that read every single fucking text. <laughs> like, we got him. Yeah. We got him. Yeah. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Star boys for life. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, but oh seriously, god. Oscar Pistorius. <laughs> I don't cough. <laughs> Wait, why can't he cough? Right? He can cough. He's always nah, fucking cough. You can cough. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's a problem, dog. It's a problem. Storm. You can cough. Okay. <laughs> How? How? Alexander. Yo, the up zits really got I didn't even so, put it in yet. Yeah, 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 so much palm from. sweat. So much palm it's sweat. It's absorbing to your hand. You really missed us, bro. You missed us. You missed us. Hey, I did. I did. What? It's 400. Hey, that shit was so fresh. Why is there fur? Hey, you got the newbie. Yeah, come on. I don't know, nigga. Yeah. No, you can tell he misses, bro. 400 messages. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. Just in the bathroom. I just know it. I just know he was on the toilet. 
for an hour and a half. That was the worst thing. <laughs> that was so you angry. are so right. <laughs> you are so right. It's I, just, I, I can feel it, bro. And my, my wife had to check in. <laughs> my wife had to check like in. Like concerned, right? But like, she, yeah, it wasn't like Andrew get out of the bathroom. It was An Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> she thought I Elvis, bro. No. She thought I Elvis expired on the toilet. Oh damn. Anyway. And what'd you tell her? Did you say you were just, you know? I said, leave me be, lady. <laughs> What? Can I not solve this? <laughs> Can she, I not solve this conflict? What did she think she, you were talking about? She doesn't know you're on your phone. She thought I was on Zillow, Mark. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Little did she know I was moving back and forth between that and a conversation with a spirited comrade. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you been on Zillow? Have you been Zillow? Fuck zoned? you, dude. Have you been? Fuck you. I'm just asking. Fuck dude. you for that. Have you been Zillow? Fuck you for that. I'm just that curious. That was fucking rude. Wait, why? You why? know that I was suffering at that luxury resort in Mexico. <laughs> you didn't ask once. I, I, I checked in. I sent you a Zillow. A Zillow. Why were you suffering? Ain't nothing more boring than sitting on a goddamn fucking seat, laid the back with your wife reading a fucking book, <laughs> and you're too lazy to go get the goddamn book and start it, so you're just scrolling up and down fucking Instagram. Staring at beautiful paradise, being miserable. Oh, <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, I would like to enjoy it, Al. Yeah, oh, okay. Okay? But my brain doesn't work that way. I need constant stimulus for this thing. So the idea that I'm just sitting in this incredibly enjoyable place and everybody else seems to be having a great time. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. They're relaxing, they're having the time of their lives, and I'm just sitting there absolutely <laughs> going fucking crazy and trying to hold it all together and I can't bitch about it because then I get the very normal reaction that you just gave me. Yeah. But that is my worst nightmare. Just jump in the water like I tried that. That's your worst nightmare. I got my that's my worst nightmare. Probably. It was <laughs> peak misery. I found a place to play paddle 30 minutes away and I would take an Uber every single morning out there and back. Yeah. Because I was so absolutely Bored out of my fucking mind. <laughs> Where were you in Mexico? Yo, that is crazy. Los Cabos. Cabos. Oh, crazy. Cabo. Things to do in Cabo. Are no. there? No. Yes, no. 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 It is about relaxation. Nice restaurants. Oh, restaurants? Yeah. I mean, ATVs and horses takes one day. Yeah. It's, and it, there's I, no... Yeah. It's a hotel zone. It's, it was... Listen, it, it's the beautiful. For that, People though. should go there Amazing and they should enjoy it if you can do that. I I know this about myself now. Have a yacht day? I can't. I can't. The yacht day maybe that could have worked, yeah. but a yacht day you with two for people. The group. Yeah. You can't do a yacht with mm. two people. It's just what, you, you you're having a conversation. The captain's right there, so you can't talk about anything real. Mm. God. Your wife is an angel, dude. <laughs> you sound so exhausting. I know, yes. Emma, you're an I angel? Yes, I know. This man sounds <laughs> exhausting? Like, hey, what? <laughs> as much as y'all hate me, that's how much I hated me. <laughs> when I couldn't just enjoy this beautiful, every morning I'd look at the sunrise, I'd be like, mad. <laughs> what, what would you rather do, though? What, what is like a dream vacation? Oh, just somebody like tell me a point that I disagree with and just <laughs> argue it for fucking six hours That's a day why you're getting all those in dicks. between paddle. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just yeah, tell yeah. me something that can't be proven. Yeah. Oh, you should have gone like Yo, a history tour. No, he's been a time. Oh, I love that. But then disputed it with him. Every my point, favorite. every point he brings up. My favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just arguing with the tour guy in oh. front of everyone. Oh I remember God. he spent an entire vacation figuring out. Do you remember that podcast, Serial, with Ed Nan? Yeah, yeah. He spent an entire that. week on vacation. <laughs> I printed out the map of the city. <laughs> Son. Oh I printed had, out the map of the city. He had the board that you see in movies with the fucking strings. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this. It was Let unbelievable. Son. <laughs> greatest vacation I ever had with that ex. <laughs> 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 the greatest vacation I've ever had with that ex. Oh, and wow. that, that's how I kept. I was in literally a basement. There was a basement dwelling, no windows, nothing. <laughs> Printed out the map, yeah, put yeah. it up on the wall, started connecting the dots from the cell tower, solved the whole you fucking really thing. have issues. How do we harness this energy? I feel like it's it's wasted. You know I mean? He's harnessing. He's harnessing. We, we, no, we could put it into like solving like nuclear energy or some shit, right? I solved that. How about yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah How yeah. about arena shows? Dude? Yeah, exactly. But I'm saying like humanity. I feel like we could get to Mars or something. You have to figure out how to relax. That's what you need to figure I'm out. I'm gonna do that when I retire. No, you're not. Dude. <laughs> what we're talking? No, you're no, not. No, that's gonna be my 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 second life. We'll be learning how to just sit down, enjoy, and do nothing. Okay. Yeah. But what are you gonna do in the meantime while you have this wife? Try to not commit will... suicide <laughs> on a beautiful beach in a luxury resort. <laughs> it would be the funniest. Oh my god! The funniest I'm just, just fucking freebasing sugar because it's the only <laughs> thing that makes me feel anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is annoying and I know I'm the asshole. I just want to point that out. Okay. I wish 
that I could just exist on that, what is that, layback chair? What are they called? The lounge. Lounge, lounge chair. See, he just, doesn't even know the word. He doesn't even know lounging. <laughs> lounging is, doesn't even exist to him. What is a lounge? This guy's fucking, let's go. A lounge is where Doug, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, sorry, man. I can't even say the joke. Damn. Anyway, um, so I know I'm the asshole here. I'm aware of that. I just want to point that out. You are the asshole. And I wish I was Gross. capable of Gross. doing that, relaxing. You know, walk it. That's why when we, you know, go on like a vacation, so there's like a historical component. Mm. Or like a guide or like go around and do things. I got to keep the brain fucking active. Mm-hmm. Or I, it, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> who cares? I want to hear this. Don't lose or I, I, Or I have to uh, literally like work out or do some exercise so I'm, my brain is, I'm a dog. You're a dog. I'm yeah, a dog. that's what I was thinking. You're a Labrador retriever, a lot of energy, like that's a husky. A husky. Mush. Mush. That's, that's I need either. a mush. mush. Yeah. When, remember that vacation mush. where I was surfing? Yeah. In the morning, that was the best. That's great. Mm. And yeah, we didn't do anything for the rest of but the day. But that's the best. My brain was already. In, this is what you need. You need morning activities. Yeah. So your brain. What do you so fucking you, need? Long walk. <laughs> <laughs> Food, obviously. <laughs> in the past year, you saw what happened in the past year. You give me dessert, I'm thrilled to death. That's all I need. No, nah, I get that. Like a, I very, get that. Um, my nightmare is your dream vacation. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're saying, I mean, the service in this place was outstanding. Oh, These good guys, service. I'm out of here, dude. I love it. Yeah. These guys wouldn't walk. Run. They would run. Mexicans do. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> Can I service. tell you something? Unbelievable Mexican service. In Mexico, even. It's not just here. The greatest. Oh. They might be the greatest people in They're, history. Oh man. <laughs> I, I genuinely fucking mean We went to Mexico. Food. Oh, fantastic. Architecture. Ten. Culture. Ten. People. Women. Mm. <laughs> okay, all right. Whoa. I don't know about whoa, that. Whoa, whoa, I don't know about whoa, that. Whoa, uh, telenovelas, whoa, they got it. Whoa, whoa, what are you what did you interpret? Mm. As? That seems like a negative. That seems like a pejorative. No. Oh, what does it mean? Gotta, what does it mean? If you see if you see a girl walk down the girls, street, the weather girls, come on. Yeah, weather girls. Thank God, thank no, God. no, no. We're on the same side. So what? Why did you say nah? Yeah, that sounded like you were saying they were mid, like not not too much to be. Girl walks down the street and you go, guys. Nah. Yeah, it sounded yeah. like you were saying there was a bunch of miles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. As a culture, architecture, fire. Mm. The only other ancient architecture mm-hmm. that you can put up against it is really Egypt. Egypt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're washing Rome. Wash in Greece. Oh. Well, they're much more ancient. A little pantheon or whatever, <laughs> like a, a little pantheon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. pantheon's cool. fire. Coliseum exactly. is sick. Coliseum you you haven't fire. been to the pantheon. Yo, I say what? You haven't been. Or the Parthenon. Which one is the one in Greece? Okay, well, hold on. He's spitting on his penis. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to warm me up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on, Diddy. Chill, bro. <laughs> my, bad, my, bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, my point is Mexicans are great. <clears throat> Go culture. Like, I don't think that we are grateful enough that right next possible. door, the greatest people that have ever existed. There is no better country to have right an there. immigration crisis with. The, the yeah. idea that it's called, a, it, it is, it enrages me. Mm-hmm. We could have boatfuls of <laughs> storming <laughs> our kids. Yo, listen, we should just start getting <laughs> Keep it all in, but bleep it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but we have the greatest, uh, it's just. You forget other countries don't have them. You go to Australia, you go to Ireland. You forget until you go there. Mm-hmm. Mm. You forget until you fucking go there. Australia Mark. doesn't have enough Mexicans. Yeah. We got to thank DeSantis for shipping them up here. They put them on the bus and just oh, drop them right yeah, up dude. to. The Mexican food's about to get so much better in New York. Mm-hmm. I can't wait. I don't think it's Mexicans that are there shipping. They're giving us the off Mexicans. The off brand? Like yeah. El Salvadorians? Puerto Ricans? Nah, like the saying? Venezuelans. <laughs> the off Mexican. Uh, all of Central America. Venezuelan solid, though. Oh, oh, all I'm saying is shout out to them. I mean, it was just fucking. I was like, the guy asked me, he's like, by the way, is this tip in pesos or dollars? And I looked at him and I said, you know what? Dollars today. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't at all. He 20x'd his fucking tip. Yeah. Wow. But the fact that he fucking ran yeah. to get it was just what did what did he ran to get? What he got you? What do you, you really want to know? Yeah, I do want to know. I want to know. <sighs> uh fruit plate. Mm-hmm. Oh god. Best fruit. Best fruit. Good fruit. Mango. Good Amazing fruit. 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 Mango. Right, Mango's on top. Get to the fun stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, iced coffee. And an actual iced coffee. See, Mexicans are intelligent people. They understand how to make an iced coffee. Yes. Unfortunately, Europeans 
and listen, this is with all due respect, you're too fucking dumb in your heads <laughs> to, to wrap it around the idea that if you have cold ice and you put hot liquid in it, <laughs> Then the ice goes away. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know that? Do you know these? Can these you explain fucking, how you ordered coffee while we were at the restaurant? I, 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 I had enough. I had enough. Mark. It was so funny. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Chill, been, chill, been, chill, 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 bro. Chill Y'all be feeling like Cassie out here, dog. <laughs> bro, bro, I'm they telling you. In coffee. Australia, we went. I asked for one. You can tell it. He'd literally tell. just go to the lady and be like, you guys have iced coffee? They'd be like, yep, we do. And he goes, okay, let me ask you this. Well, first time, I don't say that. I take their word for it, <laughs> yeah. right? I take Because I ask you a question, do you have iced coffee? Mm. So I think what I'm going to get is iced coffee. And then what do they serve you get? A lukewarm mud. Uh. I had to pull Akash's cock out of it. <laughs> 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 Made the coffee taste better, though. You it want did, cream. Yeah, it did. You wanted a cream. little creamer, dude. Like. <laughs> okay. And then literally, he's going through like how to make coffee. He's like, okay, when you guys are making it, first off, who makes it? And they're like, well, our, our barista. He goes, okay, bring him out here. Barista comes out. He's like, okay, when you're making iced coffee, I mean, yeah. are you making coffee and then chilling it and then putting it into ice? Or are you making hot coffee and pouring hot coffee into ice? Explain that. And then they would explain what it was, and then depending on the answer, he we would go. Just, we just take the whole coffee, we put it over the ice. Okay. I'll and then have, I go, I'll have well, what happens to the ice then? <laughs> well, it melts. Well, what is it now? Is that an ice coffee? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not. Uh, just on. It's a water, it's a water, water okay. down coffee. Am, am, I, down am I wrong to be upset about that? Yes, his first world problems and uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but am I wrong to be upset about that or no? I'm Why not. are we the only culture that can wrap our heads around it? Us and who? Mexicans. The greatest. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Facts. Mexicans the greatest. And the best cooks. They take all the world's food and then they make it as good. They you really walk into any restaurant as a Mexican cook, you don't even question it. Mm, that's true. You don't even. You walk into a Japanese restaurant, they got a Mexican dressed up like a fucking Japanese guy. Mm-hmm. You don't question it. That's Make true. Making sushi. Making whatever. You don't question it. Anywhere else, you'd be a little concerned. Now, yeah. sushi let's, chefs. Let's, let's just call it what it is. You walk into a sushi restaurant, you see a black dude with dreads. You eating that sushi? I'm curious, actually. That yeah, could, I'm that a little curious. Mm-hmm. That could go either hey, way. Talk to me. Maybe like jerk sushi or some shit like that. That shit might be fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, might, it might hit. Or you start going. This is an anime black. It might be an anime it black. It could be. Or, anime black is interesting. Yeah. You know what? That's black, interesting. Black That's is the wrong people. example because it's so <laughs> far from sushi mm-hmm. that he might have had this obsession mm-hmm. with sushi and then perfected the craft to exactly. do it. So I hear what you're if saying. If it's an anime yeah. black, we're good. Yeah, he's what a samurai. An Alex, he's just doing, making sushi black. just for fun. Alex yeah, yeah. Media Black, 90s Al Black. Black dude wearing Tim's, missing one of his back teeth. Ugh, nah, I'm out of there. That's tough. That's I'm tough. making sushi. You can't. Nah. Can't yeah, do it. Can't, you can't. You That's can't tough. Do. I assume sushi chefs went to like a lot of training. They really learned some Mexicans If you're Mexican, don't need I'm like, it's a man. <laughs> they don't need training. It's matter. You figured it out. They don't need it. Yeah. They're born with training. Yeah. It's just in them. Yeah. If there's no hint of yellow, like, Bad sushi. Can I ask you a question? Anytime you've hired someone who of Mexican, uh, excuse me, background for any job, have you asked for a qualification? <laughs> Never. No. Nah. And did you know it would be done well? Yeah. 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 They're the only people. They're the best people. That you don't the need to know if they're qualified for the job to pay them to do it. They're always qualified. Yeah. They'll figure it out. Figure it out. Ice coffee. <laughs> On a sprint, 40 meter dash, run a 6.5 to get you not, coffee. Not a, a centiliter spilled. <laughs> is that an amount? <laughs> yeah. A, is yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Milliliters has got to be centiliters. Wow, I've never heard of a centiliter. Dude. Welcome All to my the metric life. system. All my life. Yeah. A kiloliter? That's a thing? No. Oh, that's true. Wait, why not? That's, that's true. It's just a liter. Like distance, right? I don't think you could do that. Are there centiliters, Miles? Yeah, they're both. Of course there's centiliters. CL, bro. Uh, <laughs> is that a thing? Yeah, it is. Okay. I, I think. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, None of us built. They're the best. I don't know where we're going, what we're talking about. <clears throat> how was Australia? Oh, yeah. Mark, how was Australia? First, you loved it. You had listen. the best time. He, he asked you and you told him what he thought of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I said, Andrew, how was Australia? Yeah. Mark, how the fuck was it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fucking. Like, no, what's going on? <laughs> Here we go. Let's, let's say a couple things with Australia. A couple things with Australia. One, Serious answer, and I don't want us to be serious that much on the pod, but like coolest thing ever going to another country and doing arenas, like just fucking so surreal. Awesome. Where the Australian Open is is crazy. Bro, it was just insane, these venues. Like it was just fucking unbelievable. So that was really awesome. And the support out there was incredible. Yeah, a lot lot of people. 
Yeah, a lot of people. It was out. just like it was so fucking cool. So, you didn't even realize how big it was. There were there were certain places we walked into. He looks at me. He's like, "Wait, we're doing an arena." Yeah, I didn't. I was like, know. "How did you not know?" I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't even. I, I, yeah, we shouldn't have played paddle for three hours before this show. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we played paddle in every fucking city that had a paddle court. But it was uh, it was just so awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming out, and those shows were just amazing. And uh, and now, yeah, stop being serious. Yeah, no, no more serious. So gay. Um, they fucking love coke out there. Oh. <laughs> I've never been offered coke more than when we were in Australia, and I've gone to Burning Man four times. Yeah, the amount of coke offered would I would say ten x what has happened to me at Burning Man. Wow. Whoa. Every the coke cocaine is where are they getting it from. I don't know, but that shit is expensive. Probably Mexicans. Greatest. Mexicans probably yeah, make the probably best coke. The best. I bet you they do make the best coke. Mm -hmm. Do it. they not know about fentanyl in Australia? Like, how are they so brave? Does no one die of fentanyl? I, I, I Maybe it hasn't hit there yet. Yeah, it hasn't hit there. If they're buying shitty coke, then they don't care. They, they don't, don't give. They better. acknowledge that it's shitty right off the top. They're oh. just like, yeah, it's like twenty percent pure, thirty percent, or something like that. Like they, <laughs> but they love coke, and they love <laughs> boring questions. That's their favorite thing. Get as coked up as possible and ask you the most mundane shit you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> like what? So, uh, you like food? <laughs> 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 like, that's a normal question. Yeah. Coke out of their fucking mind. Yeah. <laughs> and then you answer Checks it. Out. And then you answer it, and then another one. Yeah. <laughs> you probably do more coke if it's shitty, though. I mean, just keep doing it. Who cares? The high goes quite quickly. Yeah. He's like, yeah, it's 20%. I'm not going to overdose. It's too shitty. Mm. I can just keep doing it. Maybe shitty Coke is the way to go. This yeah. pure Coke, it's a problem, dude. You think? I think you need shitty Coke. You can just keep doing it. No risk of ODing. It's probably cheaper. We're just going. What about the other shit that's in it? That's that's kind of the caffeine pills thing. and shit. Yeah. Yeah, you might OD on some of the other shit. Jesse that's... Spanos did those and Saved by the Bell. She was mostly okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Creatine they put in there. Oh, that's awesome. That's also great. For that's you. yeah. Mark did that. Fentanyl. Yeah. That's what people yeah, die from. Coke. Yeah, but not, <laughs> yeah. not in Australia. Apparently, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. But yeah, no. It was it was fire just to go out there to an arena. Like yeah, you just always think about that. At least in the beginning of your career, like yeah, yeah one day I'm gonna do arenas, and then we're in another country doing arenas. Yeah, it was crazy. And you're just like, wow. Like there's statues of basketball players outside. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, shit. Like, I didn't even know they played basketball in yeah. fucking Australia. Yeah. Like, it was cool to be in a country of like real athletes. You know what I mean? Like, the, <laughs> like, um, the cricket champions oh, were God there. It, dude, that was one of my the best parts about Australia. I, I hated, I thought of you guys and I hated you guys. I, it made me so happy. <laughs> I hate it. So that you, you were so in much. India just watching your team get fucking mollywopped. They got fucked, dude. <laughs> they got not fucked like they got screwed by the refs. They played terribly. They lost a couple of unlucky breaks. It was the worst. It was one of the worst experiences yeah, of my life. It was at your own sport. We it's didn't not make it up. It's English sport. Really? Yeah. I thought they were running that shit. Sorry, dude. Kid Cuddy named himself because he cuts himself. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you <laughs> think you know <laughs> things and you don't know right. things. You know I mean? <laughs> Australians are the best. They are the best. Yeah. They're like the dynasty team. And six that's time part champions. Of Nobody's won it six times. And oh, it's wow. pretty uh, unbelievable. Oh. Yeah, they are, they are the Lakers. They're the Celtics. They're that. That's uh. part of, I think, why we folded. And India is known as like the choke team. Mm. And we did show. Also, by the way, shout to prize picks. They, we were, I was doing the World Cup of Cricket prize picks while I was there. And for this week's NFL games, I'm going more all the way to sing locks. Okay. Which may or may not be locks. Use your best judgment, quite okay. frankly. Okay. I got Brandon Cooks getting more than 40 and a half uh, receiving yards for Dallas. He got that. Jalen Hurts getting more than 36 and a half rushing yards. Oh, 100%. It's against San Francisco, but I got faith in the Philly run game, sadly. I hate to admit uh, it. Jalen got Also, it. DeAndre Swift, more than 56 and a half rushing yards. Those are my prize picks. Go to prizepicks.com. Use a promo code Schultz. Mm. They'll match your initial entry of $100 up to that $100. So you put $100, they are going to match up to $100. Exactly. That's beautiful. You said that better than me. Now, listen, we're in this together. Get in We're there. team, okay? We're teams. Go to prizepicks.com. Get that 100% deposit. Match up to $100 with the promo code Schultz, S-C-H-U-L-Z. You got this, okay? Now let's get back to the show. I'm so positive I'm going to have the greatest sports experience of my life. I don't sleep. I I overpay by 10x for these tickets. Yeah, can you, I'm with can you break dead. down the whole thing? Because I remember DMing you. I'm like, you're going to the thing. And you're yeah. like, we're going to try. I go, what? try. Well, Shub you're was in fucking India. Shub was thinking he could get free tickets. And he did. But it was taking a long time. So I just bought. Calm down, bro. <laughs> real fucking angry. Bro. Yeah, like you just I'm raise like, your this voice is, with me. Like yeah, you're making me feel a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> take that. Take that. Take hey, that. come on, dude. Oh, take that. Come on, dude. That. Come on, dude. Oh, yeah. Sky's the limit, answer, dude. dude. <laughs> Let's you're go. Okay, go, go. Answer. So right, it's more fun. Let's so Shub gets fun. free yeah. tickets. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Shub. Shub's dad. We hung out. He's the sweetest guy. Well, I I paid for mine anyway. And then why does he have free tickets? 
I think Shiv's dad is a mob boss or some shit, dude. This guy. <laughs> well, I, like, yeah. this yeah. guy, I mean, the guy got us into like this VIP box. Oh wow! For a little bit, I know that he was, was actually too tall to be like malnutrition. Yeah, yeah. Shiv's yeah. like what six two, six yeah. four, mm-hmm. something. Yeah. Like, he's like a tall is, in. Yeah, he's, he's and his dad tall. just like you could tell he just runs shit. So first, was he doing that Indian shit that you say where you gotta like yell at people like they're servants? I didn't see him interact with a ton of people, which also made me think he was even richer. That I didn't have they to didn't see him. They didn't even come up. All that was on. We had a car the whole day. Like I'm ordering Ubers when I'm in India or whatever. We just had. What a does driver. an Uber look like? A guy in sandals walks up with a basket. He pulls up in a moped. Actually, <laughs> wait, are there moped Ubers out there? No, but that's fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. would be kind of dope. Well, we would. I've, I saw three or four to a moped at one point. It was crazy. How many people were on one scooter? They should have that. I think they call that a freak off. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But yeah, so Chubb's dad gets, so I give away my tickets. Yeah. And then we go into the arena. It's 130,000 people. There's no big four sports. There's one sport we all care about. Yeah, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Break it down a little bit. Okay, 130,000. So the size of the arena, is it uh, Dallas? uh, It's bigger than every stadium in the world. It's the biggest stadium in the world. And this is in where again? In um, Gujarat, in Ahmedabad. Ahmedabad, okay. So size-wise, it's not only the length of a football field. It's a complete circle? It's a complete circle. Okay. 130,000 people. And what's the town around it look like? Is it shops, businesses, or is it like way out? No, in the, it's, a, it's a metropolitan area. city, and it's built up a lot. The prime minister is from there. So I think also they made it a point to build that city's infrastructure up a little more even in the past I 10, mean, 15 years. I mean, look at this fucking thing. It's insane. And it's all these people rooting for one team. Mm-hmm. And it's the World Cup of Do the Australians only Australians sport- go there or no? There was a, I didn't see a single one, I don't think, but they showed a few on the screen. Yeah. I saw you like 15. Sure. You just see like a couple of yellow jerseys or whatever. Gotcha. Damn. And How hard is it to follow the game by? I, at this, I'm a casual, but it's an easy sport to follow even as a casual. Yeah. There's little things I don't know, like what like off leg means or whatever the fuck. I don't know what that means, but I, you can keep up with the basics of who's winning and who's but, not. But meaning like, for example, soccer at a distance is still very enjoyable. Yes. Like, even when you play the video game of soccer, you're kind of, like, far. Yeah. Whereas, uh, like, football... Football far away sucks. Kind of sucks, yeah. This is a round stadium, and it's... I should be saying it's built in a certain way where it seats. It doesn't necessarily matter how high you are because you still get a different vantage point on what's going on, and you're fine. Okay. So there's not really bad seats. Got it. We had... The face value of our tickets were high, but then I looked at the seats that I would have gotten originally and those that I gave away. Those were good, too. I was looking at that area. I was like, oh, you're close. That seems great. So every seat is good, and I cannot explain the emotional stakes that if India won, it would have been the greatest, one of the greatest experiences of my life. Like, it would have been insane. Imagine going to Argentina, the World Cup is in Argentina, Argentina's in the final, and the stadium is the biggest stadium in the world, yeah. packed with Argentinians, just dying for their team to win. Yeah. yeah. And like how it, could you not root for India? In oh, moment? yeah. I mean, dude, when we, India started off on the, when they were bowling, or bowling they were uh, like, they were doing well at first. And I was like, yeah, we might fucking win this. No. And I was getting so hyped. Does everybody there think that they have a chance to win it? Or entering the tournament? Yeah. No, not every team. Okay. okay. Some teams know. No, 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 no. Meaning this game, our Indians going, yo, we, we, we think we're winning. Okay, got it. It's, got we it. are the favorites. Australia's the dynasty team. Right. So you're a little concerned about that. And India has a reputation for choking. Yeah. So I heard uncles in India being like, they're going to choke. Don't worry about that. They just don't get caught up in this. They're going to choke. Yeah. But for the most part, they, they beat everybody. It's like we're Bills fans. This is the only sport we care about, uh, but it's not a city of Buffalo with not that many people. Yeah. It's a country of a billion people. Yeah. 1.4 billion people. Mm-hmm. The 0.4 is bigger than America, which is crazy. But <laughs> yeah, that's we're crazy. all rooting for this thing. And it just doesn't happen. And it was the saddest <laughs> fucking walkout ever. That, that was wild. The yeah. 0.4 yeah. is bigger than America. Wild, right? It's now the biggest country in the world, right? In terms of population? Yeah, yeah. It's past China. It's the biggest country. And it's good because it's a lot of young people, so they think that's going to propel India economically. Whereas before, I don't Shit. think we saw so that. So they're not just fucking mud then. No, they're not. They we coming. Yeah. We com- we're coming. Right. Yo, ah, for real. Can I, I be honest with you? Can I be honest with you? That's a lot of fucking. Indi- Indians might give Mexicans a run for their money, bro, in terms of people, fucking. culture, and ability to. <laughs> 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 just, just, just believe it. Just believe it. Wow. 
<laughs> you gotta go. I, I had to hit up my boy Al. I, 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 I don't miss him. I assume I you, don't miss him. I, assume, bro. I, assume, I don't miss him. I, I had to hit my boy uh, up a little I bit. I feel like you're talking about the men, to be honest. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's more about the women's ability than the men's ability. <laughs> that's, that's, that might be bro, the case. Did you guys notice Akash never looked happy in a single picture while he was out there? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, until, Every, until he was at the game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. The game, I, I, the game I was miserable. the least happy because we were losing. Oh, because it was stressful. Yeah. How do you look miserable the yeah. entire time out there? Did y'all no, get was, sick at all? Did you get sick? No, at all? I didn't get sick. I had the crazy insomnia, worst insomnia maybe I've ever had the past three weeks. Really? Yeah, including when I went to Dallas. But what so maybe that that's from? why. Mm. I, I think I'm just a super finicky sleeper. Like the, the beds in India are not comfortable. If you're going to a five star hotel, it's all amazing. Why don't you stay with Shub? Because Shub didn't, he was in a different city than me. Oh. And he was, he didn't get there till like the day before the match. I had, that was my last day in India, was the day of the match. I extended my trip by one day to fly to the match. See the match. Whole thing. Didn't mm-hmm. sleep. Yeah. And did you go visit your broke ass family or how was that? <laughs> With all I, due respect. No, I visited my, my wife's family actually. And they're, they're doing fine, but it's not like five star hotel nice. I can't and, believe y'all didn't get, bring presents, bro. That's, that's, that's crazy, bro. You got to bring something nice from America. <laughs> I Why? did not. Like what? Cash. Yeah. What, what did you bring to right. London or fucking Scotland? Now, to, to, like when our parents used to go, they used to take a suitcase full of gifts. But the family that I would have that would need the gifts is on my mom's side. And I couldn't even see them again because of the air quality Pollution. in Delhi. Yeah. It was so bad. Yeah. What, what gifts did you bring to? No, yeah, whenever yeah. you go to a developing country, you bring gifts. That's a thing? I didn't know. In India was a thing. I don't see it as much now. You might bring like some candy or some shit from America. Bring them some soda. Bring them some Fanta and Apple products. They like that. But what did they bring? They got soda. When your parents went, what would they bring? Oh, dude, sometimes these kids would ask for like, sometimes people still ask for like an iPhone or some shit. And it's like, that's crazy. But they used to ask for just like some electronics or whatever. (laughs) You could bring them a vibrator. I think vib- I think we're fine on the fucking with 1.4 billion people. I don't think yeah, that's, that's why you issue. need the vibrator. Yo, to that's get a it good out. point. They, they, fuck they, I don't think that we give enough credit to Indian dick game. You talk a lot of shit like your dick game ain't nice, but it might be not nice compared compared to 1.4 to the goats. billion. Yeah. If y'all making the most babies, For the best, best, at best dick game. Got it. That is Let, true. Let's just call it what it is. Mm. Al could let's be just best call dick it here. what it is. Yeah. Indians might have the best fuck game on the planet. Mm. You just might. The numbers don't lie. It's also a testament to arranged marriages. That's true. You also. guys get it lined up and then babies on deck. Bang, bang, bang. It's, like, yeah. it's kind of fire. Shout out India. Mm-hmm. How many Africans? Let me see. That's not we, a country. Yeah, wow. we can. Like we we taking all of that. It don't matter. <laughs> I'm repping all. That's that. not a country. I'm repping it. I'm repping it. There's, 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 that's there's not. That's Shut up. One point two billion. Damn, God, your whole continent, cucks. God damn. Cucks, damn. dude. Tell we Diddy to go to up. India. Uh, time of his life. <laughs> 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 take God your next. Damn. Take your next captive. Nah, uh, the the slave trade hurt us. It hurt us. Are you talking about uh, Bad Boy Records or what are you saying? Yo, Whoa, stop. Stop. come on, what? Guys, dude, what did I bro. say? You're being political yo, yo, again. Rick Shaw's gonna get blown up. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't uh, even have a car. He can't right? even hide right? the bomb. Gotta yeah. put it on the seat. <laughs> you gotta chill out, bro. That's why we ride on top of the trains. We're doing bomb inspections. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we gotta, you gotta make sure. You gotta check it out. Gotta make sure. Did you see anybody doing that, or is that no. complete? Stereotype? I didn't see Bangalore, where we went, is like the most Western country in India. Mm-hmm. So it's. It's not America. You still are in India, they have but it's four the most. On a scooter. They doing that on scooters, doing yeah. on trains. Yeah. Like, yeah. God damn. too many people to be fucking around. Chest they, the they chest. Out Mexican Mexicans. No, don't say that. So Mexicans that. will put like six in a car. I bet you they'll probably do like here's, twelve. What here? I bet you they can get twelve of them motherfuckers. In but there. they can't fix a car. No, no, I don't think you can fix a car. No, you can't. They don't either fix it. Right there. Nah, y'all do ride the Flintstones most. With it. Look at that shit. That's that crazy. this looks like it's <laughs> made to seat four though. It's like those double seat bicycles. But we still put two on each seat. Yo, look at that one. crazy. Go, go over, go over. Go to yeah, the left. Yeah, out Mexican, this way. Mexicans right there. Go this way. One more. Oh, sorry, first and one more. Over one. There it is right there. This one. That's the yeah. same picture yeah, we just Yeah, the same saw. picture we were just looking at. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Oh. <laughs> Damn, bro. Stop getting <laughs> Indian shit wrong. He hasn't yeah. slept in six weeks. Come yeah, on, give right, him a break. Right, that's five on a scooter, right? Son, that's impressive. No, I've like, never seen a Mexican do that. They got to step yeah, it up. Five. Come yeah. on. In sandwich, mind you. Four, five, six. That's six, That's bro. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, there's a yeah, six. Yeah, it's a sneak baby with a sombrero. That's a Mexican child they stole. That's crazy. <laughs> this is insane. How did That's they steal crazy. a Mexican baby? That's insane. Anyway, dude. shout out to India, shout bro. Shout out to India, yeah. dude. For real. Love How was the rest I of it? it. How, I other love than the game? It, I, know, I don't know shit about India. Oh, you're I don't about know to if be I'm, gay. It's, it's, I home. Can <laughs> it's home. I fucking can sense it. I have a sixth sense to how gay you're going to be, and I want to go there with you. 
I want to fucking be there it's like with the you. It's like the notebook. Tell me. <laughs> it's home, dude. It's home. It's just home. That's it. I don't know how to put it any other way. My heart is home when I'm there. That's all I know how to say. That's as gay as I'm going to be, but I love it. Well, I would love. I, I can't wait to go. Dude, people would ask me about you. They'd be like, when are you bringing Andrew? He found a way to bring me into oh, this. Thing. I, <laughs> yo, there you go. <laughs> his fucking emotional I need IQ. stimulus. He needs attention. <laughs> yeah. He needs attention. <laughs> I need stimulus. I hate constant stimulus. My wife is reading a book. What will I do? <laughs> I know this man. God, he's oh, so that smart. was good. That was they're good. So smart. That was that's good. fucking <laughs> Indians, bro. Fuck yeah. it's Indian. They might. They're coming for. I don't know if a Mexican spot. could do that. I don't know if a Mexican's got that. <laughs> Holy shit! Are you saying that they're gonna top? No, I don't. I don't want to even say it, dude. Yeah, yeah, they might, dude. But they might be the goats, bro. Yeah. You have to warn the Mexicans. Hey, step it up. Get to it. Fuck India's dude. coming for you, dude. One point four. Great. Dude. Was there a moment there that that? Truly made you feel home, and I'm not trying to set you up for anything, guy. No, I, I think a lot of it also, I, I wonder, because I wonder, I want to, when you guys go, I want to go. But family is like the main thing for me. Family that I don't ever see, that I don't ever get to connect with. My wife's family is so sweet. So, like, that's the main thing for me. When I'm there, I'm like, oh, this is home. This is what I've been missing. That's a good political my whole answer life. right there. You heard that? Nah, but. Guy's a politician. But it is this real. This guy's a fucking politician. Nah, but that is You real. are a little politician, though. At Indians comment, when you go home, it's it's like the family, dude. And you don't realize. So that pivot. He ain't even acknowledge that shit. Just like, I'm going to keep going. Yeah. Like, no, it's <laughs> true. Because he was supposed to be a politician. Yeah, exactly. He stayed in India. And it's still been. in him a little uh, bit. And now it's coming out. You went back to the source. So it's really coming out. Mm. The way that you just shouted out how amazing your wife's family yeah. was, was just. Indians comment. He's got them in the chat going crazy. It's, oh, it's a fact. What are they dude. saying, Mark? <laughs> Boobs <laughs> and veggies. <Vegeta. laughs> that was good. No, okay. That's, that's so what, what was the moment that you were like, fuck, this feels great. I'm dude, home. Dude, we were walking through just a, a couple times. I was kidding, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Dude, I just remember walking. This is We're walking through a park. It shouldn't even be. It's just a park. It's yeah, a nice yeah. park, but yeah. it's, there's an America everywhere. What's in it? It did tre trees, plants, leaves, Indians. But there's, I'm just walking through it. I'm looking at the streets of Bangalore on my left. I'm just in a park. Indians God everywhere. Me, bro. You <laughs> gotta lose it, bro. Come on, bring it back. I can get you back. Bring it back. Bring, bring it back. back. Bring it back. Okay. You know how when you guys are walking through America, you see white people, you're like, oh, that's just people. And then you see a black person, you're like, hey, a black person. Yeah, okay. In okay. India, you're the people. I see Indians, I'm like, yeah, it's just people. I'm just people. If I saw a white guy, I was like, hey, a white guy, that's weird. The feeling you guys have every day as a majority. So you felt we normal get, for the first yeah, time. Yeah, you feel in your, your life. I'm home. You feel regular. Yeah, I'm, I'm not an Indian guy. Just I'm just like a, a guy. a normal person. Yeah, I'm just a guy. All the yeah. love handles, he's like, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm in shame. That's not true. Hand, that's not true. Five seven is what I saw being pretty average. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this Towering. is right. Did you feel tall out there? No, nah, I'm normal height. I'm normal. Five wow. seven, average height. Wow. I'm not tall, but I'm, I'm average height. Wow. Al, you would be tall out there. <laughs> I'm tall here, nigga. <laughs> no, not with the. Not, I'm saying without the lips, oh, you'd still yeah, be tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sandals, yeah. Sandals, Sandals, tall. Yeah. Sandals, yeah. Sandals, Sandals tall. That would be different. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. can't wait. When y'all go, I'm going. Even if I'm, even if I've got my own tour, I'm going. That's why. Well, yeah. Obviously, we wouldn't arrange it without you being arranging. Yeah. You see it? You're getting ready. See? You're getting Just ready. Getting oh, no, this shit's well, getting tapped well, in, bro. God, but, did you try to flex on him a little? Be honest. What watch did you wear? Uh, I think I wore this one. This is a regular Omega. Nothing crazy. Okay. Oh, but, excuse me, regular Omega. Nothing crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Oh, okay. the exchange rate is wonderful, though. We're bitches. I mean, the tips are crazy. Trying to throw your, their their fucking their bobs or vagina at me? No, <laughs> nobody's throwing bobs or vagina at me. Nothing. That's, that's one thing. I yeah. No, no. Be honest. Like you're a famous. Like people knew you out there. Let's just. Call oh it yeah, what it is. I did a show. That was fire. Okay, yeah. I, I want to hear about the show. But first, can you just tell us, like, you're? I imagine have like some fame. You already have some fame here. I imagine there's some fame over there, and it's extra special because they're seeing this person who they're not used to ever seeing, and they may never see again in person. With all due respect. With all due respect. With all due respect. Pretty much only recognized by dudes. Damn. I mean, but still, people were like, they might have been trying up? to fuck on the low. I don't but, think Indians are gay like that. And I like that. I don't think they're gay like that. I'm sure there's some gays. I saw some gays in the New Delhi airport. No. I saw some gays, bro. Wait, what was that like? And how'd you know? Uh, they, you know. They let you know. Oh, they, is it like, like progressive in that regard? I don't know if it's progressive, but they were out there. Like, I don't know how you're getting treated on a day to day, but you're for sure gay. Really? Yeah. I mean, gay. Like, LA makeup art is gay. <gasps> did you see the witch ones? The, the tranny witches? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did yeah. you donate? So I, you gave I, money? I didn't. You said no. We gotta stay away from that's it. That's why India and lost. I had, a, I had a bad. That's why India that's lost. That's probably why India yeah, lost. Come on, bro. You could have saved, on, bro. It. Yeah, I just didn't. I don't know. They, were, they just asked so aggressively. 
I was just put off by it. I was like, it's just, you know, oh, be- that's be- what you were put off by. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's just hey, the aggressive hey, asking. That's hey, it was the entitlement. I, I need my beggars to beg. Yeah. You know what I mean? Can yeah. I be honest with you? Yeah. It's the entitlement. Yeah. They were yeah. I feel that way right? too. I don't want my beggars demanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that way too. I feel like it's gotten very commonplace yeah. to, to not even have a skill or talent. No. When we were growing uh-huh. up, the homeless had to provide some sort of utility. Yeah. And and now it has just become give me money. It's a I'm demand. Dirty. Yeah. 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 Being dirty is isn't enough for us to give you money. Yeah. Do a dance a little bit. So, what is <laughs> dirty already? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. That's a and good yeah, point. I got all the money. Mm. This shit, that Yo, makes sense. No, dude, hey, black people might be the best beggars. Well, Wait, that sounds what? a little bit <laughs> yeah. awesome to get okay. into. Wait, yeah. Let's politician, hold politician. politician. Elaborate, Miles. Yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. You Talk get on the subway train. Mexicans sometimes fully dressed up, mariachi band. They're not begging. They're not begging. Mexicans aren't begging. They're providing entertainment, and if you give them money, you give them that money. That is true. They yeah, but, that's what you, but that's what you wanted from your beggars. You just said, what happened to having talent? So I'm saying the most talented groups of people asking for money, it's not even close, is black people getting on a train, putting on the music, getting everybody Show time. Show time. Yeah. Show time. Showtime's gone, salts, bro. bro. Showtime. Showtime's gone. When's the last time you've seen a show time? I see it all the time on the L. Still? Yeah, you don't, the you're not in touch I, I, with the common people. Oh, you're wealthy now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you don't ride the yeah. subway anymore. There's no show you're time in Uber. Al is yeah. so, you just had a me moment. <laughs> <laughs> you, just had a, you just had a rich and I don't realize I'm rich moment. I think I think subway performances are done. Nah, <laughs> Why do you think that? I, take I, it I haven't been on the subway in five years, so it must have not must not be going on no more. I right, take yeah. the subway once in the blue and I don't see no show yeah, time. Hey, Al, you know you're not telling Telling the truth, you have multiple forms of transportation, and none of them are the subway. Mm-hmm. Some, you some have a gay days, motorcycle. Yep. Hey, yeah, 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 you have right. an hey, automobile. It's not gay. You have a plane, but I've never seen you take the subway in over three years. Just be honest That's about not it. That's true. I've taken and you're not going to Brooklyn either. You're taking the ones like the Upper West Side or some shit. Like I, you're not going on the long underwater one. That's where the That's most where they of the get you. Happen. That's where they get you between uh, Lorimer yeah. and. Oh yeah, I don't be with when they got you locked underwater. I don't be yeah, with the yeah, yeah. Sorry. Times Square too, though. They be in Times Square. Oh, yeah, got mm-hmm. Times Square stop. They know that's what's okay. Up. You Tour. decide to do a show out there. Yeah, last minute pop up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think pop up shows are the way to go there because it's not as like the PC thing is much stronger there than it is here. Like the freedom of speech is not as free. Like written in the Constitution, you can't make fun of other religions and blah blah blah. So I'm like, yo, I'm doing shows for my fans. I don't know if I want to do a full tour where just any snitch could come through, get offended, tell everybody I'm in trouble. But I did a pop-up show, sold out in like an hour, which was crazy. It's pussy. That's but pussy. also, you went to jail in Sweden. You know what I mean? Like, that's not even really jail. Imagine that's going to like, jail in India, bro. Yeah. yeah, but you want some street cred, huh? <laughs> yeah, you really yeah, want yeah. some street cred. Do yeah. a couple of days, bro. I'm not built for it. Biggest Indian comedian in the world. I, automatically. Yeah, average you average height out there. You can hold your own in, in jail. Yeah, nobody fucking you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're just a regular person. Eyes, them eyes, they might get them. Yeah. No, no, he's handsome. He's fuck a bull, but I, I think that you could swing on dudes. Okay, that's what I need. Or you could do that slap game. Oh, yeah. Kabaddi, what do you call it? Kabaddi. Kabaddi. Slap Kabaddi, though. Yeah. 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 Slap Kabaddi. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, I, I did the pop up show. Fans can't, it sold out in an hour, and the fans were fucking great. And again, it's Bangalore, so they're the most. I didn't change a single reference. I didn't have to, like, I didn't feel like I had to bring anything to them. I just did the shit as I do it, and they were amazing. It was one of the most fun shows I've ever done. Mm. So fun. Thank you to everybody who came out. That was great. That's awesome. And performing back home is fire, dude. If you ever, I, if your Spanish ever gets up and you want to go do something, you <laughs> know what I'm talking about. I keep trying to relate to you, and I'm like, he don't know. Did you talk about India at all yeah. in your set? Yeah, I did. I had you were some, able to... some India material up top that, Good. that helped. And then, yeah. The did you record it? I did record it. Oh, fire. Yeah. With what? Wait, what did Shoop help you Three with, with the Indian up. material? What type no, of cameras? No, no. Actually, this was Ameri- as an American in yeah, India. Yeah, fish out of water. Yeah, fish out of water type stuff. But that stuff is, I don't know, I think that's, that's the beautiful. best. Yeah. And it's also like, yeah, you're a comedian. You're a person. You're an observer. Yeah. And now you have the opportunity to observe this thing that is, it's not exactly novel for you, but- yeah. Yeah. You know, it is. And it was nuanced enough that they, it wasn't like a general, like, traffic here is bad. Yeah, yeah. Which they would love from somebody who wasn't of Indian descent. But for me, they'd be like, you Shut should know the better. Fuck yeah, up. you've like, been here. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that, that helped everything. And then I actually didn't enlist Shub on that. I enlisted him the fuck out of him on this cricket match, though. I was like, I need your dad to take me everywhere. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Take me everywhere. Yeah. yeah. I want to know what Shub's dad does. Yeah, we got to figure that yeah, out. Mob figure. boss or something. It's yeah. insane, dude. It's insane. Brand. Just run yeah. shit. Yeah, we got to do that. When are we going? We gotta Where, to India? Yeah. yeah, we got to figure that out. We got to figure that or out. Or Puerto Rico with Alex. We could do that also. Yeah, it's good food there, too. Mm-hmm. Good food. Have you been to Puerto Rico? Yeah, plenty of time. Plenty? Yeah, I still, plenty? Got, I still got family over there. 
What? How many times? Plenty. Five. That's decent. Yeah, a handful, literally. I know it's a it's a far trip, right? <laughs> what do you mean? It's like two. Yo. It's like two hours and you've been five times? That seems really good. <laughs> Puerto Rico? <laughs> wow. Yo, sorry. You've been to India once. <laughs> <laughs> once this year. And you look miserable while you're there. <laughs> Yo, we should have a a nation off. Oh, I love this. Mm. Because we give him a lot of shit for not knowing about India. Mm. But do you know about Puerto Rico? We did that here in our body job. No. I knew match. No, we did. That was Spanish, Spanish words. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What else is Puerto Rican? <laughs> yeah, Spanish yeah, words. Yeah. You know what I mean? Same thing. Food, women, you know. <laughs> Name two boxing champions from Puerto Rico. You got Oscar de la Hoya. And I can't believe you got the first one wrong. Damn. That's fucking oh, idiot. Mexican? He's Mexican. You bro. unbelievable. You he said it with so much confidence, I, I got more. I, I, I was like, he must be right. Yeah, I rocked I it. I did. It's just he was dressing up like a girl and shit like that, you know. That's so you thought he was Puerto Rican? Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Very Puerto Rican. Good save. Baby, do it All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because I know some of y'all have been looking for the best deal on tickets. And today's episode is sponsored by SeatGeek. Listen, they got over 28 million downloads. SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, more comedy shows. Maybe you want to go see Akash Singh. Maybe you want to see Andrew Schultz. Maybe you want to see Mark Gagnon. There are plenty of opportunities for you to go get those tickets on SeatGeek, especially when those shows are sold out. That is the only place that you're going to be able to go get them. Now, football season is full swing. SeatGeek has the tickets that you need for every single game. Plus, they got music. If you're going to see Bad Bunny, they got you. If you're going to see Travis Scott, they got you. SeatGeek puts all the tickets across the web in one place and makes sure you're getting a good deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10, so look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. Major. And... You know Flagrant came through with the deal. So use our code Flagrant. You're going to get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with the promo code Flagrant. Go get the app. Now let's get back to the show. All right, guys. We're going to take a break real quick because i got to tell you about Inside Tracker, whose mission is to help you be healthier, feel better, live longer. It is the company for you. I know because I'm about to get these blood tests done. They analyze all aspects of your health through blood, DNA, and data from your fitness trackers. Basically, Inside Tracker will tailor a personalized set of recommendations for you. Look, regular biomarker testing can be a game changer for your health, and Inside Tracker has been revolutionizing the way they track and improve our health from the inside out. And right now, it's crazier, they're offering you 50% off. That's right, 50% off for Cyber Week. The rest of these people are giving you a Cyber Monday. These guys are giving you a Cyber Week. I'm signing up today. It's going to be really insightful to help me feel better, sleep better, Hopefully live longer, definitely look younger. These gray hairs are starting to annoy me. And if you want to be like me, here's what you do. You go to insidetracker.com slash flagrant. Get this deal before it's over. 50% off is fucking crazy. And remember, this offer won't last long. So head to insidetracker.com slash flagrant and take the first step toward taking the guesswork out of your health journey. Your future self will thank you. Now let's get back to the show. Bro, Alex yeah. said some shit to me at your birthday that blew my mind about New York. Do you remember this? Uh-oh. No, he, he leans over and like sipping wine and he's just looking at me. I just remember this the other day driving down the street. Uh-oh. He was like, you know what I've noticed, dude? I feel like the birds in the city are getting smarter. Oh, like, no, 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 yeah, that's, I like, that's real. I was like, what? He's like, nah, dude, just think about it, dude. Birds are getting smarter, bro. They're not getting hit by cars. It's kind of weird, right? No, nah, the and pigeons. just like keeps drinking his wine. The pigeons have evolved here in New York. <laughs> think about when you were younger. How often you would see smushed dead pigeons on the street? Think about it. You would see it all the time. We don't see it at all anymore. No, there's a Seinfeld episode. We have an agreement. Well, when George hits the bird, and he's like, they, "No, they move nah, out they of the way." Nah, this is all me. This Don't try. <laughs> that was crazy how you tried to. Do yeah, that. like this is all me. <laughs> that was crazy. Like other people can't have bird observations. <laughs> Seinfeld got to own all the yeah. bird shit. You think he's Hannibal seen- Burris got bird observations? You think he's seen Seinfeld? Yo, let, let Al have his bird yeah. shit. Like, let's go on no, yours. Ask, yours is totally you, different. Have you seen? Like, don't you remember you would see dead birds on the street a lot more than you see now? I'm going to go with you on this. Yes. Yeah, there you go. And then what is your suspicion as nah, to why? I just think that the pigeons here in oh, so New you York thought there have was more. evolved. This is where I knew that was done. Yeah, that was it. That's it. <laughs> I knew that was, no, that was it. I knew he was finished. <laughs> that was it. So I just commented. Uh, my suspicion is bike lanes. No. Wait, what? 
Why would that make a difference? The birds don't like to fraternize in the middle of the street. <laughs> yes, they do. All the time. Yo, they're confident. <laughs> <laughs> and even that, that's that's evolution. That's they got to learn the difference you. between a street and a bike lane right cook. now. Let me cook. 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 My boy. Let me cook. My boy. Let me cook. Let me cook. So the birds don't like to fraternize in the middle of the street. They like to fraternize near the food. Mm. Mm. The food is on the sidewalk. Now we got bike lanes, so even if you're a little bit off the sidewalk trying to get whatever kernels of muffins or whatever fell off of someone's plate, now you got the, the bikes. You see the mm. bikes coming from a mile away. You get out of the way. Back in the day, it used to be sea, car, splat. Mm. The bike lane saved the birds. That's probably why you saw wait, the wait, dead wait. birds that were close I got, to the I got, sidewalk. I got, I got a rebuttal, got a rebuttal, Tree. got a rebuttal. Go. Nowadays, we got all these e-bikes going like 40, 50 miles per hour. Same speed as cars. No, but you're entire. Don't matter. It's <laughs> such a big profile. I see birds, son. With He's lying through it like son. a roadrunner. <laughs> I see Mexicans. birds roadrunning. These right. box ass Mexicans, that's as big as a car right there. Yeah. It's the same shit. It's the I same built. The tire. It don't matter. The whole body will take them down. No, the tire can only run them over. <laughs> what do you mean? These guys were tarted. No, that was crazy. That the was body a, will. That was a terrible. You point. know, if it's going 50 miles per Here's hour. Here's what you got to do. If, if a out, body out. hits a bird at 50 miles per hour, that Here, bird. You're talking to. You take a the second. The bird is dying. You take no, a second, and it. then you I'm say with confidence, and you move your wrists like this, right. and then you suddenly see them a lot Tell more. Tell me how I do it. Academic. Like this way. Yeah, I know. No, that was it. The birds don't like to fraternize. No, but I do think he has a point. I do think the birds are getting hit by the front of the car, and then they get smushed because they're maimed on the street. Yeah. Yeah, but now it doesn't happen because of the bikes. I can see that. And also, also, bike traffic is slower, so even an e-bike can't go as fast all the time. Nah, we be moving. I be on a bike lane with my gay bike. No. <laughs> you do do that. Yeah, that's fucked up. Al okay. is right. What, what, yeah, Miles, please, can you give yes, us some... Miles. There's a lot of falcons that got reintroduced <laughs> to New York City and also more rats in the 50s. There's... Six to eight times more, uh, and they clean up all the dead pigeons. Yeah, so there's less dead pigeons. Oh, but that so doesn't mean pigeons, pigeons are, getting, are smarter. getting eaten by the rats. Okay, and by falcons. Big, they reintroduced falcons in New York City, so now they. They did reintroduce I, them, I, right? Because I, yeah. I felt more of a falcon presence recently. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, they did reintroduce yeah. falcons. There's a, there's a watchful right? eye. Yeah. It does feel that way. I've seen a lot more soaring. I've mm -hmm. seen a lot more. I, honestly. The city has changed, bro. I, I, at least my observation is. <laughs> they left these fucking falcons in and it's never been the same. It's really never been the yeah. same. Yeah. <laughs> I've noticed that. And more cats in the city. There we go. Is that true? Mm. Yeah. Niggas be right. Bro. <laughs> You're completely just, wrong. No, okay, no, no. Hold on. My whole theory my was, was This is kind of right. fun. My this is kind of right. fun. Okay. But your theory was wrong. But my observation right. was right. But then all right, all right, all right. I was trying we... to come up with a reason. Yo, 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 yo. Let's stay on this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ready? Molly's right. a talk more. Yo, bro. yo, check it. Just check talk. It. Right here. Can I just have a, like a high moment, but it's it just just roll with me on it? It's a zen moment. It's a zen moment. I, you know, I'm bored losing my mind on this beautiful, luxurious resort. <laughs> Everybody looking the other direction. Everybody looking the other direction. Lonely. <laughs> Nothing to distract myself, but geopolitical debates <laughs> that I'll be using in a group chat not 24 hours later. <laughs> um... And I saw these birds flying. Do you think, <laughs> do you think flying for a bird is as exhausting as running for a human? No. No, I think it's I, walking. I think it's walking. Let me, let me go through it. Let me go through it. Let me go through it. I too thought it was walking. And then I was like, mm -mm, that is soaring. <laughs> soaring <laughs> is walking. That's it. That's running, bro. Nah. That shit. That's jogging. So nah. then what's running for them? They can go, go like when they're trying to evade a Get cat prey. or some shit, when they're yeah. like, that shit, that's the, that might be running. That's no, the I run. That's, that's the run. That's what I did. No, nah, no. Nah, just flying. You, flying. Yeah. Like, know, how they no? fly south for the winter if it's as exhausting as running? I think they have an exhausting light. They're like canyons. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're like canyons. That's why it's jogging. Jogging, they can do that shit all yeah, day. Yeah, canyons that, jog. They don't sprint. They yeah. jog. They yeah. jog, but they actually, they jog at like a sprint pace. If you look at the fastest motherfucking marathoner, he's basically sprinting a marathon. But if the effort is jogging yeah, effort yeah. for them. That's they might call it jogging. To us, it's full sprints. So, Your fastest speed is what they're running a marathon at. Yeah. They're running, I think, under six minute miles, right? It's for crazy. a marathon. It's, it's insane. insane. It's crazy. That's running 10 on the motherfucking treadmill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a run. So you don't think that person can sprint? You think that's the fastest he's capable of going? 
He might be able to sprint. So, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's faster, but to us, it's still a but it's again, still a sprint. to a bird, that's a, to a that's bird. A jog. I hear where you're going with this. Now, yeah, you guys, yeah. no, no, I'm going to let y'all cook right now. But, <laughs> <laughs> but before I let y'all cook, let me just cook one more time. Good bird. <laughs> but, but, but before, I just want to point this out. I've always looked at flying as this envious thing. I'd be like, oh, I wish I could do that because I assume that there is no caloric mm. usage at all. Mm. It is just pure. Uh, it is like a net like, neutral. Like Superman. Exactly. Superman Super flies and it doesn't cost anything. He's not tired, anything. he's not sweating, he's not nothing. These birds are out there pushing, especially if it's windy. Mm -hmm. It might be an exhausting, laborious process that we assume is lovely and easy. I would think the soaring would be more tiring. Because like uh, inertia, right? The first part is the hardest part. I thought, mm. And once you get going, it's not as hard. Nah, soaring, soaring when they just like glide it. Exactly. Soaring yeah. is you're uh, using the wind. Yeah. Yeah. Just it, flapping. It, you're talking about flapping. Yeah, flapping flap, is tiring. Yeah. Flapping, soaring that, is using the wind. That's okay, a dog. I thought soaring was like climbing. Like you're going from the ground up to the sky. That Stop. initial ascent. <laughs> Stop. That's wrong? Yeah. But think about it. Yeah. Think about it, bro. Yeah, because you're doing it again. <laughs> we just explained it, and then you just said the same thing. Yeah. And now we're going to explain the exact same way again. Do it again, because I didn't get it the first time. It's something soaring, bro. You're not going to be like, you know, it was soaring. Like, oh, my God, this is so yeah. hard. No, you're soaring. You're fucking phew, flying soaring. through the air. Soaring. Just... Gliding, if you will. Mm. And that's <laughs> not not you were on our side. We were all on team soaring. Yeah. But now we got caught up on the cement. Somehow this turned on me, and I didn't. I, I didn't. <laughs> it needed to turn on somebody. <laughs> There's no victimless humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I do think soaring is standing, and then I think flapping is jogging, and then double flapping like Alex did before. That's, that's running. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so we all want to have that ability, but we don't want to be jogging all the fucking time. We don't want to be running all the fucking time. What if throughout our day we just had to immediately jog or run constantly? Mm. Annoying. Yeah. And if you stop jogging, you die. You're dead. That's crazy. Bruh. Yeah. What if you're over the ocean? Do they even go over the ocean like that? They mostly yeah, stay over the ocean. Ah, so that albatross is going to be walking. Days. That's what we would like, like to like believe. The but calm I don't know flapping if it's true. gotta be walking. It gotta be. Miles just said albatrosses can stay in the air for days. Sometimes they sleep. Yeah, it gotta be it's walking. Fine. There's no way they sleep. It's all, it's, all, it's, all, it's all like Miles, you said, gliding. Miles. They're so Miles. high up. I true. swear to God. They're so high up. So in the let, sky. This cook, let this man cook. If I had hollow cook, bro, your theory was wrong. <laughs> Yo, you observe the thing that doesn't make you right. It's not enough. Miles said I was right. I need the button. The doctor smarter than you. I'm right. I need the doctor. <laughs> Hollow bones, 11 foot right wingspan. Now. They're like miles up in the air. There's no wind resistance up there. Yeah, stupid. Fuck. Do they get turbulence? Oh, Son, did y'all have that turbulence? That you was crazy. Had, I had some turbulence yeah, last that. night too. That was I crazy. That. And I, I accidentally fucked up because I split up seats with my girl. And so she was just in the back texting me like, "Why? Wait, wait. You did that again? I got upgraded to Comfort Plus, bro. I need the leg room. <laughs> Yo, you Comfort piece of shit. Is so funny. I'm six that four, is, bro. I need it. Plus is That's so ridiculous. Funny. I need like, it. <laughs> you should get upgraded, but still, give it to your girl. Give it bro. to she your girl. She doesn't need it. Bro. She's small. Everything's Comfort Plus for her. Coming from the person who flew to Vegas and I ain't give it to my. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> give it to your girl. No, bro. if it's a lay flat, I'll give it to her. I did that when we. I see that. Yeah, now, now, see, see, no, upright, upright. This is the absolute good, okay? I got upgraded late flat coming back from Athens. She got it the whole flight. I had a window seat in the back. And then I get one Comfort Plus. I can't have it with the turbulence, our last flight ever. <laughs> Come on, bro. The last flight I ever have, I can't go Comfort Plus. No, because you get the points for a Comfort Plus. It's not that big of a difference. It's not about the points. But you get the points, and you're like, hey. Why don't you just pay for the upgrade for it to be Comfort Plus yeah, like $50? Yeah. Come on, That's bro. That's fucked up. That is crazy, dude. That is kind of crazy. That's just be crazy, happy. You're That's in a chair crazy. in the sky, dog. Be happy, bro. Yo, holler us <laughs> deep beforehand and be like, yo, get us both in the same thing. She, no, I don't I, can't, I don't go that. That's that's a business expense. I had to go personal when I booked my flights. Come on, bro. And so I had to book it. I put and she just got assigned a random seat. She didn't check in on time. You know, you, you, you can, don't love your wife. You know, you can also I love her enough that I, she had a window seat. Normally she has to have a middle seat next oh to me. Oh my god. Uh, Listen to Diddy over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a this guy's a monster, bro. Yeah. I didn't crazy, know there was gonna be dude. turbulence. If I know there was gonna be turbulence, tell, I would have been together. Tell him tell him what you did with the eye ladies in uh, Australia. Oh my god, bro. That's <laughs> The what, ladies? I laid his dick in your <laughs> mouth. Come on, you Alex, fucking you're a gay bitch. guy. Oh. You fucking bitch. You're so oh, gay. Oh, man, God. You're so no, gay. No, yeah, it was a good sound. <laughs> sold it really good. Yeah, he sold it so good. Come on, come on, come on. He sold it so good because 
I was like, I would have been like, eh. But then you're but, like, oh, come on. Oh, man. Come yeah, on, yeah, bro. That was good. That was good. I'll pay attention. It's how I we know. go against Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how we running this play. We running this play again. And again, this is triangle offense. Oh, so, no, I, got, yo, run that. <laughs> I got him. I'll be, I'll be the market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. But no, I was insane. The turbulence was so bad that the flight attendant sat down in the aisle. I've never seen that in my life. We're in, we're in the air. Oh, I would have thought I was dying if that, that happened. Bro, and then the, the captain, fuck they got a seat. The captain needs more bedside manner because we're flying and literally he's like, everyone take your seats immediately. Son, our captain didn't say shit. And yeah. I was like, oh, we dying. No, yeah, that's better. Our captain didn't say shit until <laughs> nah, we landed. better if they don't say nothing. Because why they focus on flying? Nah, that just because like don't scare anybody because they know everybody's gonna. I mean, fly. we I heard noises. Tell that us the something. Making that say, was... yo, it's a little windy. Or we're going through some weather. Just say something. My man said nothing. I was like, oh, it might go down. He didn't say anything till he pulled up, and then was like, all right, that was that was too windy. With we got to try again. Yeah, but imagine hearing. Imagine hearing take a seat immediately, and the fucking flight attendant take don't a seat say, on the floor. Don't in say the aisle. that's crazy. The in the aisle, Simon no, that's, says that's, that's her fault. Week. That's not the captain's fault. Captain should have urgency. This bitch wild, bro. Yeah, that's wild. I've Come never on. seen it in my life. Yeah. My flight him. attendant was bouncing around the front. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the turbulence started. It was crazy. And this bitch was trying to, like, put the um, those little uh, carts Car Car inside oh, the thing. So she fuck. wasn't even close to the seat. She's bouncing all around the front. The crazy. carts are flying out. There are, like, glasses that are falling. They're plastic, obviously. But still, you're like, whoa, this is, this is, this is serious. Yeah, 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 it was legit. And then flying in, we got so low. That was the thing that freaked me out. To me, we were like three thousand feet over the whole city the whole time because they were trying to like avoid the turbulence. So the whole time I'm flying and I'm literally how dumb I am. I'm looking out the window, being like, "Does he know where the fuck the airport is?" <laughs> like I thought I was like in an Uber that got lost on ways. Like I was literally like sitting there, I was like, "Does he fuck. know?" Because right now I see the Kajuko Bridge and I don't know if that's close at all to the airport. <laughs> Koshiosko. <-go. laughs> Koshiosko. Wait, what? <laughs> Koshiosko. I said it wrong, but then you tried to correct me. Correct it with. <laughs> well, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> Fuck. It's hard knowing things about oh, where you're so from. So I'm telling you. Oh, I'm redeemed. Right. Right. Uh, I'm good. God damn. Why did that happen that way? Jeez. Oh, that's pattern. You got a slam the ready. Pigeons and are getting smarter. Uh, damn, oh, pigeons bro. are getting smarter. Sorry. God damn. Oh, bro. That made me so happy. Thank you. <laughs> I fumbled it and then you dropped it again. Damn, how the fuck did I fumble it worse? <laughs> you didn't even need to be specific about the bridge. You could have said bridge, but you went for the pronunciation. That's what irritated me. I truly me thought it was Kajuko until one second ago. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know I it's was saying Koshiosko. right. It's Koshiosko. I call it the <laughs> Koshiosko. I letters for them and the syllables you're saying. I call it the Koshiosko. It's some Polak. <laughs> <laughs> but on the... Now, on how the do you subway, say that? They say Kajuko. No. Yeah. Why would oh, they say it on the wow. subway? If Mark is subway stop, right? So oh, buddy. If you just fuck. got Akash I'm just now, gonna be so, so happy. happy. You just I'm got be so happy. By a Floridian, son? <laughs> it's crazy. <sighs> Kosciuszko Bridge. Oh. Fuck. Kosciuszko. I, I think Kazi. I was the closest. Kosciuszko. You're saying it with a J. It's Kazi. Kaziosko. 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 And it's not yeah, uh, Kaziosko. Kaziosko Bridge. Yeah. I think, hey, we can agree to Gee, disagree. Real, I was the closest. Real New York is a bit. Oh, bro, that flight was terrifying. I was very nervous. Akash, you did a, a loop around. They yeah, didn't land it took like an hour. They tried and they were, we were like, what's going on? They were like, hey, we're going to try this again. That was too dangerous. That's and crazy. then I was like, okay, well, this next one will be smooth. And it wasn't. Cool. I was like, I think we could pull up. I said that out loud. I was like, guys, I think we could just pull up. <laughs> You're People, backseat driving? Yeah, I'm freaking the fuck out. Too much going on. Dude. Also, I think you were lying when you said, oh, yeah, just take us to Boston. We'll figure it out. Oh, uh, a thousand percent. I, I don't think you believe that. I don't think you understand how what a bitch I am. <laughs> <laughs> take an Amtrak from Boston much rather than experience turbulence on a flight. Bro, no way. I would rather have turbulence and trust that they got it than have to be in Philly and then get a car and drive at 4 Amtrak, in the morning. Amtrak, baby. Come on. No bro. issues. I, I was thinking it out. I was like, where else could they land? Because I had a flight to Denver that it was like that for like five minutes, and they're like, yeah, we're not even trying. We're going to Idaho, and then we'll figure it out from there. Wow. Mm. And this, I was like, there's closer airports than Idaho. We could go to D.C. I'll take an Amtrak. We're good. Yeah, go to Philly or some go shit. Go to Philly. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because it's time to learn another language. You got to learn the other language. Open up the world to yourself. I know some of you, maybe you're listening from Europe, and you're like, I speak three languages. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but the point is you can learn a fourth. 
Why don't you learn English? Why don't you learn how to make a nice coffee? My point is the best way to learn a language is through immersion when you're living there, but not all of us can go live there. So the second best way to learn it, it's with Babbel, okay? Because Babbel, you can start speaking a new language in just three weeks. Instead of paying hundreds of dollars for private tutor or fooling yourself with these language apps that are a little more than games, Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are designed by language experts to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. Babbel is for real conversations. All of Babbel's tools are approachable, rooted in real life situations, and delivered with conversation-based teaching. Okay? Also, they help you with the accent and the grammar. I've been mm. fucking up grammar a lot with Hindi. Love it. Saying singular when I should be plural or whatever. You're gonna get it down with Babbel, my boy. You're gonna Absolutely. get it down. Now here's the special limited time deal for our listeners. To get you start right now, you're gonna get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash flagrant. You get 55% off at babbel.com slash flagrant. That is spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash flagrant. Remember, rules and restrictions may apply. Learn that language. Let's get back to the show. All right, guys, we're gonna take a break for a second. Let me just tell you something. Learning the intricacies of a new sport like Padel, uh, it might be difficult, okay? Here's the good thing. Hiring Morgan & Morgan is not, it is easy, okay? If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury law firm. They have over 100 offices nationwide and more than 800 lawyers. Now, this might be daunting to you at first, right? You might be ingesting this information. You're like, yes, I got injured uh, at, at my job or I got injured at this other place and I am, uh, you know, I, I should d deserve some sort of fair uh, compensation for what I went through, but you're intimidated. Let me tell you something. Morgan and Morgan has removed all of that. It is the easiest thing in the world to submit an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan. It's literally using an app. It is that simple. And that's why they have over $15 billion recovered for over 300,000 clients. Morgan & Morgan with a proven track record of fighting to get you full and fair compensation. Morgan & Morgan has been fighting for the people for over 35 years. Submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan is unbelievably easy. So if you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. Think about that. It doesn't cost you anything unless they win. And if they win, that means you get paid. So for more information, you go to forthepeople.com slash flagrant or dial pound law. That is pound 529 from your cell phone. That is F-O-R, the people.com slash flagrant or pound L-A-W. That is pound 529 from your cell. This is a paid advertisement. Let's get back to the show. All right, guys, and we're back. Uh, let's talk about some NBA stuff. I mean, can we even talk about the NBA yet? No, I think it's hard because it's, it's you're not fully developed yet. You know what I mean? Come it's, on. It's, it's, what are you it's, trying it's, to say? This season is what? It's like a it's like a minor. It's the minor things only. It's just minor. You're just saying, saying this, this is childish. It's childish. Yeah. It's childish to talk about the NBA. The you know season I mean? is in its infancy. Did I hear? <laughs> yeah, you it's say? in its infancy. Yeah. Got it's you. in its infancy. Got you. Yeah. I got you. Okay, and we're not pointing at anything specific. No, no, at all. No. Um, would y'all fuck a 16 year old? <laughs> Why do you bring that up? Wait, 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 Purely hypothetical. Yeah, yeah. yeah. complete, hi yeah. complete. Like, would you say, rather do it? Yeah. Would you rather? Let, let, like, okay, <laughs> yeah. Would you rather like have a flourishing NBA career, get a max contract, make hundreds of millions of dollars, and have generational wealth, or fuck a 16 year old? Knowing if she's, you could choose, knowing she's a 16 year old, I don't know. I, I don't know about that. Mm, okay. But, but I, wouldn't I would, you be like a little bit more scrupulous yeah, was, in your vetting, yeah, 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 knowing yes. that you have all that to lose? Yeah, I would scrutinize a little more. Yeah. Yeah. Did I use sure. the wrong word? I think it still works, so I didn't I say it was it wrong. Work. Scrupulous means moral, which yeah. still kind of works. But yeah, yeah, scrutinize would be like vetting it more. Chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even yeah. when I'm wrong, I'm yeah. right. Failed successfully. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, obviously, we're talking about um, Carl Malone. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And no, be a legend. No, 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 no. There's these allegations against uh, Josh Giddy, who plays for OKC, yeah. right? And that like some girl posted some picture of him saying, "Yo, I just fucked Josh Giddy," and she's I think a junior in high school, which yeah. would make her how old? Al, you would know, or Dove would know. Dove no, would know. Mark would know. Mark, Mark would know. Would know. Make her 18. Miles, you definitely yeah, would to you. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, so here's the thing. He played the next night. That's crazy. No, it's not. To me, that shows that he didn't do anything. Be, <laughs> like in my opinion, if he if he actually did something and he came to, because the, the organization's coming to him immediately and they're going like, yo, what the fuck is going on here? Did you do anything illegal? Maybe where he lives or where the girl lives, one of those fucking- I looked it up. 
<laughs> I already looked it up just okay. to see for break the, the pod. Thing. For the pod, break I looked the whole it up. Thing. Like I, said, I, I looked it up for the pod, Sam, bro. Mark would break know. the whole thing. It's true. Yeah, yeah. I looked it up. What is consent that? Really? for research, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro? Yeah, yeah. I looked you, it up. Weird. Dude. Go go go. <laughs> you don't want me to look it up. You don't want me to have I'm facts. Glad. And I'm, I'm glad. glad. I'm not. I'm glad you did the research. Thank you. Go go. Listen. Right, we just me, have to bag on you for being weird. Let's take even a though bet. we all want to know. What is the age of yeah, consent yeah. in Oklahoma? Let's just all <laughs> if I had to guess, fifteen. Uh, I don't know. I'm a yeah. I was thinking early, maybe sixteen, because I know New York seventeen, which yep. I think is weird. Oh, Eighteen. 16. 16 years old. Okay, so this is my suspicion. They come to him. They go, "Yo, what the fuck is going on?" And he goes, "I didn't know this, that, the other." And they vet the actual age, and then they go, "Technically, he didn't do anything illegal. He can play." If they, if he went to them, and he has to be honest, right? There's a lot of shit riding on that. There's going to be like legal action that's going to reflect on the organization. They're going to go. They're going to go. Uh, oh, actually, look at the age of consent in Australia. I just looked it up. Jesus <laughs> Christ! On, the bro. Of you. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell, Miles? Florida, you three? Florida boy. You three? Do this. Son, he's Florida what boy. Is it? Yeah, I need uh, y'all. Second. It is between 16 and 17, depending on the state. So the, he, Josh Giddy is from Australia. Okay. So. The assumption is, does he believe it's okay and then do it, right? And then the organization is like, even though this is the creepiest fucking disgusting thing that you're out here hooking up with high school girls, technically it's not illegal. Therefore, we can't ban him. We can't put him in jail. He's going to play. But didn't, so John Morant, was he breaking gun laws where he was? Because he got suspended. I think the NBA has a... Uh, uh, behavioral clause and behavioral clause is not an issue to fuck sixteen year olds. I, it might, it might literally. They might need to add it. They might need to add that. Come on, bro. You know what that is. I, I don't want to say that. You know I, what that but is. I don't. It doesn't add up to me that he's still playing at all. Like, That's the thing. Like the fact that he played the next day made me think he didn't fuck. Yes, he did. He's he's in a picture with her shirtless. The girl posted and, a picture saying, "I just fucked Giddy," which makes me think she didn't do it. No, girls, they fuck. You don't take that. Many can you pictures. can you look up the I just fucked Josh Giddy picture, bro. please? Sorry, I know it just makes me like think he weird. didn't. She didn't do it because she would also assume that that's incriminating, right? She's basically going, "Yo, this guy just stat raped me." No, but I think both of them. She's looking at him like, "Yo, I want to fuck an NBA star," and he's like, "Yo, this girl's also it's whatever. no excuse. You should fucking know." Yeah, like I don't care what the age is in Australia. They're not fucking idiots out there. Like, yeah, your whole career old, is like, coming here. You're not gonna learn the basic minimum. Hey, don't fuck young girls. Yeah, I saw one thing that said it was known that he liked young girls. I don't know if that's real or not, but like somebody at some point has probably said, and they train up every NBA rookie or whatever. Stay away from X Y Z. I'm sure as many. In, this, look at this. Just fuck Josh Giddy. He's shirtless in the picture. Yeah, come on. Why are you shirtless in a picture with a 16 year old yeah, girl? That's... Okay, Mark, tell us. Well, well, I don't know. Why about it? <laughs> Mark, what are you tell about? us. Yeah. What? Maybe know. they're doing a workout. Maybe he's a he's a coach of the high school basketball team. Nah, maybe they, they're just family in the house. Yeah, you know, chilling. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's yeah. his sister, bro. Yeah, right? she looks Australian. We don't know that. Then they did fuck though. That's his sister. <laughs> exactly. his that, that, okay. That's my point. So, what happens? I don't know. He's not even good enough to keep around. Is what's crazy. Oh, is he not I, that good? I thought, dude, I thought, I thought he, he was. Nice. I thought he was nice. I thought he was. I think he's doing. It. He's fine, as far as I know. He, he winged that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you do an India thing? Yeah, he winged that. Did no, you Hindu stand it? No, I think you Hindu stand that. He's not. Jo even John Morant, we're not protecting. This nah, guy he's a, he's protect a, John Morant. We protected the fuck out of. He yeah. just kept doing it. Yeah, well, John Morant could yeah. do anything he wanted. Yeah. he was pulling guns out in fucking pickup basketball games. Like, That's John fair. got a lot of protection. Yeah. That's fair. John did get. Also, protected. what he did was more obvious. I guess as like a violation for the NBA. Like, we don't have like confirmation video. The NBA thought they didn't have to tell their players you can't fuck. 16 year olds <laughs> and then this fucking cokehead from Australia shows up <laughs> and he starts smashing them out and taking pictures with them the picture is crazy this is but that's crazy, what I'm saying dog. he doesn't think anything's wrong but maybe he did but you should know you, you should know yo it, it's like that baseball player there was did you guys hear about this baseball player I'm gonna fuck up where he's from I don't know if he's from Dominican Republic or something like that but he had like 13 year old girlfriends oh yeah did you hear about? I think he was like he got like some hundred million dollar contract or whatever. But he was like dating like thirteen year olds and shit. Yes. And I think people are like, oh, you didn't know. It's like no, you know. Yeah, yeah you're you being know. a fucking creep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is crazy. But I, I mean, that's a crazy picture. If he goes, I'm, I was drunk. Why are you drunk? With yeah, no, you can't say that. Fucking can't sixteen that. year olds. Well, yeah. I think he's also twenty. I don't even know if it's legal for him to drink. But if Shorty's sixteen, I think. And yeah. if this is in Oklahoma. 
where it's legal, then he's like, I'm not doing anything wrong. He's 21. He's it's, 21. It's not that far. It's weird, but it ain't that far. You know, far. bro. Nah, but look at him. He Al, look. Do you know? You got millions I know, but why do you know? Why do I know? Why does Mark know? Why does Akash know? Does, why does this guy does not everybody know? Everybody just know. <laughs> you got millions on the line, yo. Yo, who doesn't know? <laughs> just saying, who doesn't know? I, I ain't gonna say no name. Who doesn't say, know? I'm who just doesn't know? I'm just yo, saying. who doesn't know, yo? Hey, who doesn't know? I know. I'm just saying. So it's like I. It's weird. It's creepy. You this shouldn't do it. This man married his teenager. <laughs> <laughs> so that's legal. Son, that's son, legal, bro. Son, son. That's true. That's son, legal. True. Yo, Josh. Let's go. Josh got to make a wife out of her. Yo. Yo. Josh, you got one chance for retribution. You got a wife for yo. Yeah, that is a good point. That's the only yeah. way. Yeah. That's the only way. Because don't they have like some rules where it's like if the age is like stop, let's stop acting. Nah, there is. So, isn't there a rule? <laughs> it's called the Romeo and Juliet clause. Wait, why do you know it? Why do you know it? <laughs> yeah. Come on, Al! Yeah, Yannick, me. Yo, no, don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare fucking I'm leave! I'm leaving Yannick, but I'm leaving! On that FC, that FC, that FC, that shit. I knew if it's close enough, they let you. They give you a little wiggle room. Son, does Biden need to come out and just tell motherfuckers you can't fuck sixteen year olds? It's like eighteen, yo. I don't know if he... Biden just say eighteen. You yo. think he was gonna say that though? What would Mr. You say? Sniffing heads? You well, think? No, yeah. With numbers? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't think he's the one. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Because the thing is, like, even if nothing happens to him, even if he keeps on playing, there's no problem. It's gonna follow him forever. Like, it's just going to be nonstop. I saw a video the other day, or just like today, it was a dude tying his shoe in front of, like, a bunch of kids. Did you see this video? He's no. like, I saw some NBA player. It might have been, like, LeBron. I, think. I don't even know. Just, you could just see his foot. And he ties his shoe in front of the kids and it runs away. And it's these two girls that are, like, 10. They're like, oh, my gosh, an NBA player was just near us. All the comments. Oh, they just saw Josh Giddy. Like, all, like just <laughs> oh, yeah. every comment. That's no, he's going to be the most famous pedophile, for sure. <laughs> like, and he, they asked him in the interviews. That might like, be defamation. You can't say yeah, that. Allegedly. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like you can't really, even though it's weird, you can't put it on them if it's legal. You can't. Yeah, you can, yo. And it's that weird <laughs> shit of motherfuckers who like oh, really, they look can. around pedophile the room. is not a legal term. Pedophile is just a thing. It's a label. You're fucking a 16-year-old to me. You're a pedophile. That's not legal. Like, like that's it. You're, I don't give a yeah, fuck what Yeah, we use it as slang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, we're using it as slang, bro. Yo, we can call Akash a mud fucker. We can't call him a kid fucker. Low key, like we throwing it out there. You never Factual. fuck mud. You never, never even know never fuck fuck mud. Sixteen year olds, and you got proof. discipline. I got discipline. You, you know got what I mean? discipline. I got discipline. I keep it in my pants. This guy don't. Right. This might be wild, but I bet you her parents don't mind. <laughs> it might be wild. Why are you yeah. protecting this man so much? No, no, no. That's I, weird. No, 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 no. Why wait, are you protecting wait, wait, wait. him? No, I'm you saying the, bad, the yeah. bad parents. The bad parents. You racist, Because yo. if this is a 16-year-old and you're fucking Snapchatting guys you fucking already, the parents done fucked up. You think she got mm -hmm. parents? parents? Yeah. 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 <laughs> she ain't got no She ain't on a pole. She got one. <laughs> she, <laughs> she ain't on a pole. <laughs> she kind of was. Nah. If you, you know if how you, he built? He's 6'7". You know what I mean? That's true. She was dancing. Just like the rest. <laughs> I mean, nah, she ain't got no fucking... For the record, we also don't have a confirmed age. I looked it up. Yeah. It's not It's not confirmed yet. She's a yet. junior in high school unless Mark, she's retarded. How about you start with this shit? That's not confirmed either. They oh. don't, we, don't, we don't know exactly how old she is. So then they, what's this whole rumor they about? They deleted how? everything. So they had a... I think it was like a picture of her from like last year. She's like in high school last year. So I think the speculation is that she's like a junior or so senior. So this, this could be an 18-year-old bitch and we talking for no fucking reason right now? Now nah, she's 18 and, he, and we got to apologize to Josh Gidster. I don't know what the, the confirmation Gidster. is. If I'm she just, was 18, he'd have said she's 18. That's, that's a good-ass that's good, point. Good, good ass he point. refused to answer See, questions. A, if, you were fucking, if you were fucking an 18-year-old bitch and everybody's like, yo, she's 15, what would the first thing you say? I can't comment on that or you show her ID? Yeah, yeah. I would ask for ID. Bro. Look how old this pussy No, is. people ask him, you <laughs> fuck her, you know she's 18. And for a fact, you're right. She's 18. And people are like, yo, I heard you fucked a 15-year-old. Would you say, I have no comment? Or would you say, nah, she's 18. Fuck yeah, you. Nah. I got proof. She's yeah. 18. I'd leave it there. Unless I had a legal counsel that was like, hey, First don't say anything. No, nah, fuck. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> fuck, fuck the legal counsel. Yeah. If the legal counsel was like, hey, don't say she's 18, I'd be like, I need new legal counsel. Yeah, I fuck agree. you. This is like when Sandusky fucked up that question. Yeah. And they were like, are you attracted to young boys? And he was like, what do you mean attracted? Or R. He Kelly? Fuck, and R. he Kelly's fucked like, the young boy. What's the teenager? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you can't fumble that. If you know you're innocent, you just got to be like, 
That's why I don't think he's innocent. Yo, yo, yo. yo. Also, yo, 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 there's yo, yo, a picture yo, yo. of this girl saying she just fucked Josh Giddy. Yeah. That's, and there's, that's enough for me. Do, is this oh, racism? Fuck. Is Josh Giddy only getting preferential treatment because he's a white? Well, we don't know if he's getting preferential treatment, bro. Can Has we talk suspended? about JFK? Someone else receiving headshots. <laughs> <laughs> Sloppy head in the back seat. <laughs> oh, so that's God. the only one. Is there a new doc? I was looking up Mash. I ain't seen no new. No, it's just this like absolutely oh. incredible moment of American history that is unsolved. And I think that I think uh, there's a new doc called the What the Doctor Saw or something. Yeah, and then one of oh oh yes, yeah, sorry sorry sorry. Yeah. There, there, you're right you're right. I, I meant Did like I see the new doc. No, I haven't seen it. Yet. Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus. Yeah, and a whole fucking uh, thing. I think I got that one for. Uh, What's that show? I got a free trial for The Offer, but my shit ran out. Oh, The Offer, and I thought the other show called uh, Montana or whatever. Yellowstone? Yellowstone is on it. How you yeah. forget what it's called? You were obsessed I know with you it. All you talked no, about. Was it Adam Sandler? Was it Adam Sandler? Honestly. <laughs> Give it a year. He's going to be like, what's that game, Squash? What were we yeah, playing? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you ever disrespect me, <laughs> Don't you ever disrespect my love for Pedalia. Bro, I'm getting nervous because I just bought a racket, and I feel like I'm, it's going to fade. Can I, can I be honest with you? Yeah. <laughs> the racket? is going to frustrate you. No. Unless you've used it a lot and like transitioning into the new racket is is it is a it's a life changing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so JFK. All right, JFK. We're back. <laughs> right, uh, but no, for real, paddle's the greatest sport ever. Invented in Mexico. <laughs> Don't let them span your style steal it from y'all. Hey, Shout hey, out to hey. Mexico. No, it wasn't. Motherfucker. No, it wasn't. No, Do you wasn't. think a Spaniard could build that? <laughs> they are lazy the enough cage. to build that. They got, they it's are, a cage. They got plastic. There was no, little Mexican kids there. But they're lazy. This is what we used to put the border kids in, and then they decided to make a game out of it. Started they playing handballs. Oh ball. shit! Yeah. <laughs> Biden invented this shit. Obama invented it. No, it's Acapulco, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Hundred percent. I found that out in Mexico when I was getting lessons. But Spanish are the best at it. So they, stop they, it. They, no, Argentines are. No. And we played with the son of the greatest paddle player in history, fifteen-time world champion, when oh, we were fuck. in Sydney. That's a good point. He was a Mexican, but I believe he created it in Spain. No, created in Acapulco, Mexico. It's literally, a Spaniard says, took it back. <laughs> it's and we got fucking reading I'm glasses trying, on. I'm trying, I'm trying to just, I'm trying to cap. cap. I'm trying to cap. I'm trying to cap. This motherfucker. I, it's y'all, literally y'all, the y'all, sentence. Yo, I'll, 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 so y'all miss it. it but it's rolling me the fuck up sometimes, right? Wait, so why the fuck Spain is dick right now? I'm grabbing my Johnson. What is the thing about that picture? Stop it, bro. <laughs> what? Hey, You're being political hey, again. Hey, yeah, get, hey you know giddy me? up. <laughs> <laughs> you know. What do you think after sex he was asking? So, you like food? <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel about weather? <laughs> oh, my God. What's your favorite number? <laughs> bro, I'm on the spectrum. The most. Bro. Oh, you know. it is. <laughs> Yo, don't no land down yeah, under. No you get me started. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna take a break for a second because it's hard dick season. You know what hard dick season is? It's uh, winter, it's spring, it's summer, it's fall. All year it's hard dick season. And why is it hard dick season all year exactly? Well, because the bluey chewy, the blue chew has got our backs. It's got your mom's back sticky with all due respect. <laughs> with all due respect. With all due respect, of course. Yeah. Blue chew. Dot com. Okay, the promo code is flagrant. You're going to get your first month free. It's the hard dick performance enhancing drug. Okay, same active, active ingredient that's inside Viagra Cialis, but this is the chewedest one that we rock with. It's one that you're going to rock with. And you're going to get your first month free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. And when you go to bluechew.com, use the promo code flagrant. It's as simple as that. We love you. Enjoy. Let's get back to the show. Did you watch Napoleon? <laughs> what? Did you watch Napoleon? I did. How'd you like it? Mid. I didn't watch it. Ah, oh, <laughs> damn. You lied. You I lied. didn't watch it. You were lying. Al, oh, speak, speak up. Nah, nah, nah. I want you guys to watch it. And then we'll I talk mean, I'll give it. you an opinion on it. That shit like. <laughs> yeah, I would love that. I, honestly, I think it was mid. That shit was mid. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? <sighs> Historical inaccuracies. Mm, like what? Um, he never fired a cannon at the pyramids. Oh, I read that article too. <laughs> <laughs> so I was reading the article because, you know, we were talking, I was like, I want to get a Napoleon expert on here to talk about Napoleon. One, I'm like fascinated. Um, but two, it'd be really cool if there is a massive interest in Napoleon because of the movie. Yeah. So like, you know, Hamilton comes out, everybody gets into Hamilton. It's like, oh, I'd like to, you know, learn a little bit more about this historical figure. Yeah. I'm hoping this had the same effect because Napoleon is an incredibly important historical figure, yeah. right? Globally important, not just on some friendship, like change the world. Yeah. 
not the shape of the pyramids. Didn't do that. Hmm. But Ridley Scott, is that his name? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I guess led us uh, to believe he did. Um, thoroughly, thoroughly loved the movie. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> how do you, you like how they depicted Napoleon? Like, would you say, like, you're like Napoleon? Hmm. hmm. Fuck in my fuck game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah. Oh, okay. Because he was on top. Rabbit fucking, wasn't he? Oh, really? He was kind of a rabbit fuck. Wait, do you do they see a sex scene? Yeah. Oh, that's Can fine. you tell us about the movie? Put it down. Nah, he was just a super cuck in the movie, bro. Like, really? just an ultra cuck. Like just oh, he's, just he's, a simping for this little bitch who's hey, 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 giving hey. it up. Yo, why were you saying that? What, what that I'm like him? What, what was that? <laughs> I was trying I to see. Like that's really insulting. Because I didn't believe that you watched the movie. My he was trying I to get you to trap you. yourself. See, oh, you were trying to trap me. Yeah, I was trying to see. I thought you were watch. trying to hurt my feelings nah. right there. <laughs> I still kind of feel I wounded. You put it down from the bottom, son. With the pop, pop. I know you put it pop, pop. Come on. Hey, that's how he reacted when he yeah. saw the paparazzi. Isn't that exactly how he reacted? When he Stop, saw guys. Stop. <laughs> Which one of y'all paid the motherfucking paparazzi? Nobody paid the paparazzi, dude. Nobody. And I thought it was fake until they asked you what you thought about the fights. And I was like, this motherfucking paparazzi out here for Andrew. Mm -hmm. We ain't talking about this yet, right? Yeah, no. I, I don't, don't think, think we did it on we Patreon. Did. Maybe but, Patreon. I swear one of y'all said that shit up. No, I did not. Nah, your shorty loves you, bro. Mm. She called the paparazzi? <laughs> Hello, paparazzi? How yeah, that even work? Oh, <laughs> you, you can hire shit like that. This is this is what they got those types After of asking you guys, this is what I think uh it, I think the restaurant called. Oh. And it was the most disappointed paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> there was like one flash and then a slower one, and then it was like, the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Did we see the photos anywhere? They only took pictures of you. We walked out and they were like, hold. <laughs> Wait for hold it. Fire. Wait no. for it. So, so they got digital memory cards. There's no finite amount of film. <laughs> yeah, no. But they were like, don't, don't, yeah, waste, yeah, yeah. don't waste memory <laughs> on these guys. We, this was at my, uh, my 40th birthday. Uh, uh, my wife and uh, my lovely friends threw a great 40th birthday at an awesome uh, restaurant in the city. And it was a lot of fun. And when we walked out, much to our surprise, there were paparazzi. Alex walked in and out three times. You saw just that. so he could get his you his pick off. I saw he, you change no, outfits. The pit was fire. He forgot something inside. Hold on one second. Hold on. Yeah, coming out. Will you guys be oh, here in two minutes. Yeah, I, gotta exactly. grab okay. I had to get one with the jacket off, jacket on. You know. <laughs> Yo, um, didn't show up on TMZ though. Separate note. Uh, speaking of paparazzi, that's what inspired this thought. Kanye's new song. Is it me or no one cares? She's saying, you know, he had a new song. Yeesh. Really? But I've, I think I've been it might be out. over musically for Kanye. Out. No, it's not. I, I think he no. still has an ability to garner interest through um, antics. Hmm. But what do you always say? They have like a gravitational pull. He has. Themselves? He still has the gravitational pull. Yeah. But musically, he used to be able to stop the planet. And he has a new song with Dirk and was it Party T Next Door? Ty Dollar Sign or Ty Dollar Sign? Yeah. And uh, nothing. Like, I, I don't hear anybody bumping it. Now, we could make the argument the streaming, you know, organizations are trying to squash it and it's not getting uh, radio play, but we don't listen to radio. We're just us and our friends. People are not using the audio online for their memes. Like, it's slow movement. One. Two, how do you think the Arab world and the Middle East world feels about all of these... Um, almost like canceled or like lampooned celebrities running to them for, I don't know, like nurturing and love once they can't get it over here. Hmm, like who else? I mean, Tate immediately, hmm. right? Uh, you know what I mean? So it's like, what happens? You get canceled in America, you just go out there and then they're gonna give you some embrace because the celebrity still has some cachet there and maybe they're not as offended by the cancellations back home. Yeah. But like, do you think there's any part of them that's like, yo, y'all just coming here because y'all can't get it like that back home. I think they're using them too. Like, all right, this is cute for now and then we'll eventually move on to- So yeah. it's mutual using. <clears throat> I think yeah. that window will probably close. What do you mean by that? Like for Middle Eastern countries for embracing people because they're just gonna have so much clout that like, yo, we don't need to. That's take what I'm thinking. It's like y'all got the clout. You had every 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 boxing champion in history at the fight. But they paid for every boxing champion to be there. That's fair, but the money is no option to that. Like they have unlimited amounts. So Saudi has unlimited amount of money. It doesn't have to like entertain Kanye. 
but it's like American celebrities in Europe. Like older rap artists can still tour crazy in Europe because they don't see them that often, so they like they get more excited. Mm -hmm. Ah, so, so there's like, a novelty. Never there. It's, it's a novelty yeah. effect. Okay, fair. They're always right. going to be able to get that pop. All right, but I if guess. they're getting everyone coming through, I think that window for who yeah, they Yeah, once it just embrace. becomes a place that you go, now you no longer need to rely on the people you can get, which are like the canceled yeah. American or Son, European. This is so I don't the see it ever becoming. I've ever seen is I the just, Middle East. I just don't ever see it becoming a place that everyone just goes. Bro, it's if you're like in it's, Europe. It's growing fast, but it's still not like people are still going to have some reserve where it's just like, ah, uh, you know. But yeah, I don't know. It's, it's changing so. so fast. In three years, it feels like it's changed so much. If it, Honestly, now we're going to get geopolitical? Yeah. I think this is the reason why the Arab nations have not applied any <clears throat> pressure or seemingly any pressure towards Israel in the conflict right now. They will put out this forward-facing support for the Palestinian people but they ain't ready to bang. And I think it's because they're like, listen, we do not want terrorism in this region. We want investment. We want people coming here for vacations. We don't want this area to be synonymous with danger, murder, and killing. We want this shit settled. So Israel, on the low, I think they're basically like, Israel, go in there, get fucking Hamas out of there, handle all that shit right here so this thing can be mm. squashed and everybody can kind of pour in with the dollars because I think they tasted it. They tasted what it's like when you're the bell of the ball. And in Europe, people are going down to the Emirates. They're mm. going down. Now Saudi with these fucking events is looking incredible. There's all these new fights that are already scheduled. You have F1 races. They're like, listen, we can't be thought of as this disgusting terror area of the world. And that will happen if there's ongoing conflict. Handle it. Yeah, yeah. And if they backed Palestine, this is going to go on forever. So I think they're 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 basically going, hey, how quickly can we knock this shit out? Because we want to get back to business. We got to get Steve Harvey over here immediately. Steve Harvey loves that. There we go. And if it's good enough for Steve Harvey, it's good enough for me. And you know who doesn't care about that? Iran. And you know who's not going to Iran? Americans ain't going to Iran. Mm. I don't know how many Europeans are going to Iran. I don't know. But they're the ones who don't benefit from that tourism, don't benefit from the Western dollars. Not even just Western dollars, shit, Eastern dollars. Yeah. Everybody going there for vacation, et cetera. They have no benefit. So they're like, oh yeah, let's fuck this up. Mm -hmm. Y'all against us, let's keep fucking it up. Maybe even Russia comes in as well. But the other countries there who have tasted the limelight, yeah, tasted the enjoyment, they don't want tasted that. that capitalism. Okay. I see what you're I saying. Can see it. I think they're like, hey, shut this down as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. Let's get back to business as usual. Are I you? think long term, they see the ability, the potential to become a superpower on like a global stage. Like we're a force. We got the money. We got people that'll do it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if they have the numbers to be superpower, but I think that they could be an economic destination and a cultural destination yeah. and a place where in a hub for entertainment, vacation, business, yeah. business and culture. And it's like that can't happen if people are scared to come here because they're worried that they're going to get a, a fucking bomb explode in a mailbox and they're gonna die, or they're worried that somebody's gonna chuck a rock at their wife for walking around in a skirt. So we need to make this shit feel very cool, calm, and and, and uh, enjoyable for the West, because they tasted the dollars of the West. Question, um, have they run out of oil, or are they running out of oil? Depends on whom. If we're talking about Saudi Arabia. No, they have oil for... What, if we're talking about Abu Dhabi? Abu Dhabi still has oil. And, and natural gas, I believe. Are they running out of oil? Dubai has none left. Ah, Dubai. Dubai okay. is so now, the best in tourism. So how long can they keep overpaying before they run I th out? I think okay. some countries, I heard this about Qatar. They understood that their oil was drying up. Yeah. So they had like a some f like firm or hedge fund or whatever. Take the money we're making now and start investing it. And yep. they invested in a ton of, apparently they own like a crazy amount of the skyscrapers in London or something like that. Yep. So they are... We're running out of oil money, but we're not running out of money money. They're diverse. Run out of oil, but I mean, our they, money they has been like invested into other things. Yeah. Like, don't they own, uh, who owns Qatar? Uh, PSG. What, yeah, yeah. yeah, Paris Saint-Germain. Like, they've invested in these incredibly okay. lucrative businesses, so they're still generating wealth and revenue. But another part of that would be creating a tourism destination. Yeah. And it's been quite effective, and that's the idea of, like, sports washing or whatever yeah. the fuck I'm you want to go. I'm just wondering how long can they keep overpaying? 
because like sports washing is overpaying and mm. overpaying. Like they're not making that money back. They're just trying to it's a PR move. Yeah, it's it's a big PR move. So it's like how long can they sustain that to before people define like define overpaying? This is a tricky thing here because if the state owns the operation, they don't care about profiting on it, right? They don't need to, pro- because they're not, like Bob Arum or Don King has to profit because that's how they pay their bills, that's how they pay their staff, that's yeah. how they pay everything. If they just break even on a fight, right? That's just their, whatever it is. Think yeah. about all the money that is coming in from hotels, all the money that can come in for potential, not only sponsorships, activities. Like, people have to eat while they're there, right? They're gonna go. I don't even think they're breaking even. No, but it's like a loss lead. Like, you know how Walmart would sell toys for less than what they paid for them? Mm -hmm. Because you know, when you come to Walmart, you're not just buying buying toys, you're you're buying buying groceries. We're making our money elsewhere. So they have enough money to keep taking. 50 million for a fighter or whatever, we have trillions of dollars. How about this? Just think how long can they keep doing that? Because every place else can't do that because they're, Well, because other places aren't invested in people looking at that as a possible tourist destination. So, for example. In every place. Well, America don't need uh, it. Like America, like, for example, that America isn't investing in this fight so people come to America because people are already going to come to America. Mm -hmm. But we need to believe that Saudi is a place to even go. So according to this Google search, like UAE has proven reserves equivalent to 299 times its annual consumption, meaning without net exports, there will be 299 years of oil left. But that's all of the UAE. And I, and I think that's like oil and natural gas. Like I think there's some parts that still have natural gas. And then some part, like Abu Dhabi is where like the real money is yeah. in. I was just wondering how long can they continue operating this way just to get people, like to oh, change about, the vision in people's minds where it's like, oh, you know what? It is safe to go. How about there. looking it's like this? How much people who go to Disney World sure. will go? Think about so, it like this: How much does um, I don't know? Who cares? Think about it like this: How much does uh, Tesla pay in advertising and commercials? Zero. Elon is their advertiser. Maybe Saudi isn't putting out some crazy promotional campaign of come to Saudi Arabia and spending $10 million or $20 million across all these different, you know, not even social media networks, TV studios, all this other shit. And maybe they've gone, all right, instead of spending $50 million that way, why don't we just spend $50 million on the biggest fight? We'll pay double, <clears throat> but we'll have all the eyeballs on what Saudi Arabia is mm-hmm. and we'll get maybe even more benefit because people are actually interested to come here and see what's going on. Yeah. So maybe they're overpaying, but at the same time, they might be paying the same amount than they would pay to advertise in a more traditional manner for people to come to their country. Mm-hmm. Like, think about how stupid the commercials are. Come to, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, whatever, name Sandals. a fucking place. Exactly. It's like, that doesn't work. You know what works? Showing me that they get the biggest yeah. fucking fight. I start going, ooh, that might be a place to hit up. You talked about that show, How's, what's the, the Oh, the, the Real Housewives? Yeah. Got all the girls want to go. Shit, if you don't think they paid, um, uh, uh, single old bitches in New York show. What's that called? Sex, sex, sex in, the city? in the city to do the second movie in where? Where did they go uh, for? Well, they, they went to one Middle Eastern country for the second movie. Like, no, they paid crazy. That's you don't think that they paid works. them? Sh- they, hey, they said, hey, sh- make the whole thing about here. Here's a check. Pay them whatever the fuck you want. We don't give a fuck. And then you have the four most influential old white bitches that influence all the other old white bitches and younger white bitches. Mm-hmm. Now they're gonna go out there. I just feel like it takes a long time to undo all of the negative press America has put on that I think, region. I that region. Think ten so years max. Like, yeah. I think maybe. ten years max before we're like, you know what? It looks kind of lit though. Yeah, maybe. No, I think, I think that's it takes a good longer. Point. It's like how much money do they have to spend to convince us it's okay? Yeah. For example, like when Taco Bell has like all them rats eating the tacos while the place is closed. You take a week off Taco Bell, you're like, ew, what the fuck is going on with Taco Bell? You know what I mean? But then they put out the new Gordita Crunch and you're like, Can't. rats don't fuck with that. You know? <laughs> and so like they have to, again, yeah. you know, basically dig themselves out of that hole. Yeah, and I'm just wondering which one comes first. Like I mean, they're going for it. Ch- I don't people think, or they I think get... they have way more money than time is going to take. Oh, okay. I think. I think we're already kind of looking at it. We're not fully being like, that looks lit, but we're like, eh. I think the tricky okay. thing happens Looks when, interesting. Mm-hmm. This is why I think the tricky thing happens. When the places that have built up these tourist destinations that haven't wrapped the tourism around culture, they've just wrapped it around 
hey, look at this crazy building or look at this fucking arcade or look whatever. Those can't offer anything when a newer, fancier tourist destination comes out. Mm -hmm. Italy's not going anywhere. Greece is not going anywhere. Mexico's not going anywhere because they offer thousands of history. years of history yeah. and culture. So if Saudi is smart, they'll look at the mistakes that have been made and the successes that have been made in the region and go, okay, this is what we have to avoid and this is what we have to lean into. If I'm Saudi, or if I'm any of them, I'm wrapping it around culture. Everything has to be culture, culture, Hard culture. To do that a little bit. But keep this good, good. You have a good like point. They, they do it with the, hey, you know, you can dress up, wear the headscarf, take yeah. your pictures, be on a fucking camel and shit like that. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, hey, women can't do this, or you can't do that, or you're oppressed in this way. It's like, it's hard to really wrap it around the culture. You gotta, you gotta get people addicted to the commerce. And once they've become accustomed to their new life, they do not want to sacrifice it. Mm -hmm. And then once they don't want to sacrifice it, they're willing to make the changes to continue this new life. Mm -hmm. And that is the game. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is get people addicted to the, the money and the success and driving the nice cars and eating at the fanciest restaurants and all your favorite athletes coming over. And then if they feel that dip even a little bit, mm -hmm. You go, well, people don't want to come here because women can't drive. They feel a little bit. Then they're like, well, let these bitches drive. Mm -hmm. Don't the, affect my money. Let them drive. There's care. also maybe elements of the culture we don't even know about. Like, what if they told you, like, hey, we have pyramids in Saudi Arabia? You'd be like, I, don't, maybe, I have no idea. Yeah, there's, I, there's, I have no idea what's over there. But this is like an ancient country that has thou generations of culture that we might not know about because 100%. they haven't pushed the cultural elements. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like Iraq, they, they, obviously, they, they, it's, show us. it's tragic, obviously, what has happened to Iraq, and we're, you know, responsible for that as, as you know, America. But there is so much history in Iraq. Like, this is the birthplace of, like, civilization. Like, imagine you could wrap that into the tourism. Like, going to see these fucking ancient relics, the ones that are still there. Like, you're like, holy shit, this is, you're doing Rome again. You're doing Greece again. Mm. It's in the Middle East. Like, to me, that's exciting. Like, I, let's go. I want to yeah. see it and wrap everything around it. You can do the fancy new technological stuff, just give me a little feeling of the old stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You know, and... Yeah, that was my only issue with Dubai, is like, it just felt like consumerism for consumerism's sake. And they're the first ones. Yeah. So they're like, okay, how do we do this? And yeah, that I feel the, doesn't last. It, it doesn't last when a new thing pops up. And I think that's what Saudi is going. They're going, hey, the Emiratis and the Saudis are friends and everybody's cool and shit, but the Saudis are still going, okay. So they dumped a bunch of money into this and they made this like technological hub and it's been amazing and successful and it's a tourism destination and people wanna see all this amazing fancy stuff. But we can also do that. How else can we change it? How else can we improve it? And I think if I'm like, if I'm the Emirates or if I'm the, if I'm Saudi, I'm making a week of programming that you cannot miss if you're part of like the Jet Setter crew. Mm. The Jet Setter crew often like dictates culture. Like in New York, for example, the end of summer, it's Labor Day. People are in the Hamptons. Immediately, there's the U.S. Open, <clears throat> Labor Day, and then New York Fashion Week, all within like two and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. If you're like a wealthy person, you're parking yourself here for at least a week of that. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're not one of those super rich people, but you're one of us, you're like, oh, dude, I want to go to some Fashion Week parties. Or, oh, dude, what's going on for labor? Oh, US Open? It'd be sick to go check out US Open. You might try to do one of those things. How can you make one week mm -hmm. of events? So imagine there's UFC fight, F1, and then there might be some cultural, like, historical thing in the region. You're like, yo, I can hit all this shit in two weeks. Now, I'm not saying this is it, but, like, UFC fight, Andrew Schultz show, mm -hmm. is a weekend. Mm -hmm. Now, if I'm some guy in England, I go, bro, I go to Dubai for the fucking weekend. I get to watch the UFC fight in Abu Dhabi, then Schultz the next mm -hmm. night. Like, What's a week of that? Yeah. Mm. Saudi yeah. Arabia Fashion Week. That's what they got to do. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. It up dude. <laughs> but it, but did us. So it's like, okay, here's an F1 race. Then there's a UFC fight. Then there's another thing. And now the four of us are sitting here going, bro, don't you want to watch Izzy fight? Yeah. Yo, Izzy's fighting. And then we could also watch the F1 shit. Why don't we just go there for the week? The girls can go shopping over here. We just go party. Yeah. They got to get the girls, bro. Well, that's that's, that's the game. They're focusing on the guys, they got to get the women. Because the, the, the Russians got that on lockdown. So the women, the, bro. So they're flying. Go go. So like the, I thought it was like, I thought there were like freelance pros out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I thought they were just like running their own thing. 
Apparently, it's like a, this is told to me allegedly, like Russian <laughs> Russian mafia. He is tip toe, man. Russian mafia. I don't want to get killed by some Russians. Come on, I can't. I can't do this, scary white. But basically, like these Russian like mafia people, like oligarchs, basically yeah. are flying in private jets full of dimes, and then they just drop them off free range. And then if you go chat with them, they're like, oh yeah, like let's meet up later. Like here's my number, and then you meet up, and then there's a guy there that's like, all right, here's what the deal is. And you can either leave or you can stay, but you got to pay oh, no, either no. way. I was saying to get that shit going, you have to bring the attractions that get the girls going. Well, that's the beauty. Of I right. think girls drive, got, like, with it. oh, the girls are going to be there? That's this, when the This is the beauty fall. of Fashion Week. Yeah. The yeah. girls all want to be at the fashion events. Yeah. And, and no girl's going to turn down the opportunity to even go to a thing. And if you're a young hot chick, you want to be invented to all, invented, invited to all the fashion yeah. events. Mm-hmm. So if you build cultural tent poles around these events that women really want to be at, what do, what do chicks like? Think they haven't been doing. What do girls like, bro? They like well, how, Instagram pictures. How can you do? So what's the shit in Miami that's about to happen? Basil. Uh, Basel. Yeah. Art Basel. So oh god. Things where where you can take pictures. But here's so here's it's the thing where that's girls tricky. like. How exactly can you do a fashion show in a place that preaches modesty for the women? So if there's going to be this fashion show where you're going to have cleavage out, and you're going to be. That's why I think that I don't know how much. So that you will have, have to you have to find another way. What is another thing that these beautiful women want to be at? What do beautiful women like, dude? <sighs> ah, car shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that'll do it. That's what we need, bro. <laughs> yeah, that was now we're that's why New York is popping right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 At the Flanker uh, Studios. I walked yeah. out of home with this guy, so it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> but what is it? That's a good question. Like, yeah. how can they? I mean, F one. I think women like, but I think they don't like the race. They just like that it is, it is a form of luxury. Yeah. It's like a yacht week or and something like that. it's not women going. It's the women on the arms of a guy. Exactly, going. yeah. Whereas fashion, it's like chicks would go if we go on or not. Yes. Yeah. So what? That's what is the move? What do girls like? Money? Girls like money? You do that? I think Scavenger you can tie it around fashion and like dressing up like Kentucky Derby shit. What's the Derby Day or whatever? Yeah. Where girls get to wear them fucking hats and all mm. that? Yeah. You know? That's it's again a that type of stuff. Moment. Yeah. That's conservative. Yeah. The only problem is their conservative dressing for women isn't uh, as fashion forward. You look like it's a all, mummy. <laughs> it's all haram, bro. <laughs> exactly. Everything girls like is haram. What's up with that? Yo, low key. That's What's why up they have to do it because they know what they like <laughs> yeah. and they got to stifle them desires, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's it haram. Bro. It wasn't always like that. Yeah. It wasn't always like that. Maybe falconing? Why are they all like falcons out there? Do you notice that? Son, I like a falcon. We back on a falcon? No, I just saw a picture, Saudis, bro. Saudis be falconing, bro. Really? Actually, out there, they it's, like it's all like sports. Animals. Bro, you saw this? Motherfucker Wait. chartered a whole airplane. Yeah, I saw this oh, shit. and then uh, just lined it up with falcons. Yeah. They already can fly, bro. 80 of them. Yeah, that's They hilarious. already fly. You don't even need to put them in a plane. That's so funny. That is a flex. <laughs> that's hilarious. That, that is, is a flex. crazy. Don't flex. even fly, my boy. Yeah. Don't even fly. We got <laughs> you. I got you. Put them in coach, though. That's fucked up. This is where I was sitting. My girl was back here in the Falcon so much? I don't know. I saw a Falcon almost die this weekend, actually. This is a true story. I'm yeah, so. at Evil Times. Oh, yeah, I, dude. I, I think you're talking about Ludacris. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> <laughs> he did almost die. Did, did Luda almost die? I got the freaked out. coming down from the shit. He didn't look comfortable at all, bro. You saw, <laughs> I wouldn't was, be either. That shit was crazy. That was bro. terrifying. He was letting the audience sing a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Move. Move. Like, at a certain point, up. I feel like he was talking to the operator. He's like, no, move. I need to get yeah. down. Seriously, please help me out. But no, no. I was at Medieval Times, and they had a Falcon come out in the middle of the show. And then the falcon flies around the whole thing, and then it flew into a net. Oh, they still do that. Yeah, I do remember, remember that. that. I remember that part. Yeah. That shit was impressive. But your falcon didn't fly directly into a net and get stuck for a couple minutes. <laughs> nah, flew into the net, got stuck, right back to and the then everyone kind of stopped cheering. And then it flew down, and then like they caught it with the rope thing. And then the falcon was just kind of on the ground for a little bit. And, and that's then, what you loved oh, about medieval times. That's that part's Florida, boy. <laughs> <That laughs> like it was up a, here, we got it under control. Nah, this falcon's first day. I don't like. He was struggling. All the little nephews were like, "What's up with the bird?" And then immediately after, they serve you a half chicken. You're, You're like, like, "Oh my yeah. god, that is a little crazy." This they is the old falcon. Falcon. chicken, though. Thank Why? God that with fucking, us, we used that the big ass uh, turkey up, uh, leg or whatever the fuck it was. No, I'm glad they went chicken. Yeah, yeah a half chicken. It was amazing, bro. I honestly, I enjoyed. Still no season. No seasoning, but they didn't have seasoning in medieval times, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't remember? It was just no seasoning on the meat. On the meat, Paul. Oh, but like it would. It was like just. 
I'm talking soup. about that tomato soup. Yeah, they would serve oh, dragon's it. blood. You're talking about dragon's blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what they call. It. I, they didn't have tomatoes. That's a new world thing, but they did have dragon's blood back in medieval times. Oh, oh that's right. Tomatoes came from. Here. I like how they cut yeah. costs and just say that's how things were back then. <laughs> no, we could pay for spice or just say there was no spice back then. Exactly. No knives and forks. But this is shit I don't did. understand. They used to wrap meat in salt to preserve it and keep it like for long distances and shit. Use it in the season and when you're cooking it. I think it was Middle Eastern, bro. See, they were on no, season. No, like early. on long journeys. They would just fucking cover the meat in salt. I don't think whites did that. I think whites did it. I don't know, bro. I don't yeah. know if whites were on the preservation. No. I was on the right shit, yeah. Even the whites? Yeah. 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 So also, yo, Miles is on his shit today. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got to give it up for Miles. Let's give it up for Miles. <laughs> All those Falcons have passports. <laughs> We're back. Dude. Isn't that crazy? Oh, yeah, that is actually a little wild. The Wait. UAE gives out Falcon passports. What? That's yeah. that's crazy. I like that. Isn't that sick? Nah. I like that. Yeah. Oh, that's a place that's not gonna last. They're at the oh. gate. There's enough bitches. There's enough birds. Are they going through customs? <laughs> Anything to declare? <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. So that guy not only got 80 seats, he got 80 Falcon passports. Wow, that gets so, that's so rich. Oh, that's awesome. Holy shit. That's awesome. Yeah, you got to respect it. Anyway, we got to go to Medieval Times. That's all. It's I'm crazy they that. respect Falcons more than women. Ain't that crazy? Yeah, I know. I know. I don't know. They're both covered up. Nah, they not. No, these Falcons, they can't see. Oh, that's a little. Wow, they got the head covered. No, in, <laughs> that's crazy. They're still a little covered. <laughs> they got many no towels. In, they also don't have hair. But they, you got to cover the hair. Falcons mm-hmm. got no hair, only feathers. Come on, bro. All right, what else we got? I want to do feelings, no facts. Just Let's do feelings, through. no facts, yeah, rifle man. through, and then we out. We can just rifle through, dude. All right, um, so there's a protest going on in Ireland right now. Did you see this? Yeah. What was that about? Apparently, there was a dude that stabbed someone. I don't really know. I think he was an Algerian about. immigrant. There's an immigrant that, sta- that went there to Ireland. I don't know if he was legal, if he came through as like refugee status, but basically stabbed someone, and now people are pissed off that they're just letting people into the country that are doing violent acts. So what's the deal? Protests bucking off. People are going crazy. McGregor is like very outspoken and like telling people his opinions. He seems like pretty diplomatic about it, but he's very much like, yo, let's lock it down. What's going on? You know? You know what's funny is that uh, there's been like a series of um, elections where the quote unquote like extreme right candidate Mm. has either won or has gotten close to winning. Really close to winning. Right? So this seems to be like a trend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How much longer can you call that the extreme right? As opposed to? What people want. <laughs> like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to have a different form of description if almost the majority or the majority starts to desire this. Mm. Right, and I understand you're labeling it that way as a pejorative, right? You're trying to like insult these people and their beliefs, but if their beliefs reflect what the people want, that is kind of public sentiment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's the left labeling it as extreme, right? It's not the right saying we are the extreme, right? Mm. I think that's a good point, but I think media in general, and I don't want to like label media in general as left, even though sometimes it might lean that way, but media, media in general, tends to call it the extreme right, which I don't know if is the best term if it's becoming more popular. And I think that's a way to like, I, I don't know if this is their goal, but they're kind of um, using it as a way to almost like discredit them or make them radioactive. But by doing that, you're not listening to what the people are concerned about. Oh, interesting. You know what I'm okay, saying? What like, saying, yeah. it, whether or not they're right or wrong, there's still something that they're like bothered by that isn't being spoken to by the regular right if, or the center. Or the left. And I think it is maybe better to like stop name calling and start figuring out what the fuck. Yeah, listen to the people and why yeah, they voted that way. Like, yeah. I think you that know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, mm. it, yeah. We did that with Trump. Every Trump supporter is a racist, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, this guy gets elected, and you're like, well, why don't we figure out why? Okay, let's he, say he's yeah. racist, he's all these other things, but what is he to these people? Yes. Why do they vote for him? And then I can speak to what you need better than I feel this quote-unquote racist guy can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that was a massive thing the leftists didn't want to do. It was just easy to discredit him. And yeah. then you end up discrediting those people and those people get frustrated. And they get more frustrated and more emboldened to vote for this guy 100%. and that party and fuck you guys. And completely. less heard. Yes. And just willing to go for the guy that's like saying the right shit even if he doesn't have the policies to back it up. Yeah. When you're not heard at all and somebody speaks to what you're feeling, yeah. 
you can very easily block out all the other yep. fuck shit they say. Yep. So you might as well just hear these people. Listen. Listen to them. And then all of a sudden they won't feel like there's only one option. Yeah. They'll feel like every time they turn on the TV, they'll be like, oh yeah, wow, I am frustrated for that reason. Yeah. And you know what? I don't have to vote for this like, super extreme guy because yeah. at least I am being heard and hopefully these other politicians will listen to what's going on. Yeah. Now, there is a certain percentage of them that are gonna be racist. There's a certain percentage of them that are gonna be anti-Semitic. There are gonna be Islamophobes. Like that also exists, but to paint them with that brush, yeah. that's where you get dangerous because it does really make them go, you know what? Fuck you. Yeah. You keep calling me racist, I'm gonna go for that motherfucker. All right, fine. I'm I'm racist. If I'm already racist and I yeah. can't do nothing about it, fine. I'm gonna now, go for the guy who cares about my farm. Yeah. And it bothers you, and you bother me, and label me as all this stuff. So fuck you. That's another reason I'm voting for. Him. Yeah. Yeah. You see this new dude in Argentina? Yeah. With the sideburns. The chipmunk. Bro, what what is up with all these guys having like the same vibe hair? What's his <sighs> What's his deal? Is he? I don't know. I don't really know. Can't trust about guys it. with weird haircuts, man. That, that is, <laughs> yes, they're always bro. up to something. They oh, always. I mean, the whole vibe is crazy. Yeah, dude. that's wild, dude. I mean, crazy sideburns. And then the Dutch guys got the same same vibe. Yeah. You saw you saw him. Who's that? Yeah, yeah. pops. <laughs> Yo, low key. Yo, this guy. Who is this? He's the Argentine prime minister or something like that. He just won the election. He's a I guess a libertarian. He says he's gonna shut down the central bank of Argentina. Oh, fuck. Oh, good luck. Yeah. yeah. You're dead. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately, right? But like, low key, there's part of me that goes... But it's so fucked up on our part. That what? Because we're killing him. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. But, but the like, thing, but the thing oh, that... Like, you're stepping out of line. With that, like, okay, let's say, for example, you have frustrations. Obviously, you know, I saw one documentary and then I freak out on the, the central bank. We printed, like, how many trillion dollars during COVID? And oh, then yeah. Inflation went up like what? Ten percent? A lot. Like in certain in certain industries, it went up fifty, maybe went hundred. But overall, inflation I think went up. They said like eight percent or something like that. Bravo, central bank. You, you know what I mean? Well done, Fed. Like we can talk about all the shit that they do, but they managed when, the crisis. They well, you're fucking saying. managed it okay. Now Argentina might have 100% inflation one day. The next day, there's no money in the fucking ATMs. Their central bank, if they are in charge of monetary policy and it is on them to make sure that they maintain the Argentine currency and protect it, over the last whatever it is, 20, 30, I don't even know how long it is that they've had these kind of crises. Man, if they keep fucking up, my man has every right to be like, yo, they're not doing the job. Get them yeah, out. Yeah, okay. Peace. Mm -hmm. If you say that about America, I need you to really convince me because it's gonna be hard to convince the four of us sitting right here whose money seems to be doing okay. Yeah. Like, yeah, we're losing some value to inflation, but nothing compared to what Argentina would lose if they printed $2 trillion in a fucking pandemic. It's true. Yeah. So I do understand why he could say something like that when he's campaigning and people would be like, yeah, fuck that bank. Because one day I had $100, now I got 50. Yeah. And that sucks. Yeah. yeah. And if there's someone who's in charge of that shit, and this keeps happening. Get them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Am I crazy to think that? No, that makes sense. Crazy, no. buddy, ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I'm curious how long he he holds out. Oh, they're gonna kill him. <laughs> Yo, you saw so Lamelo had to cover up his tattoo. No, what is it? So he has LF. His middle name is LaFrance, and he has LF tattooed underneath his ear. And the NBA basically made him cover it up because his clothing brand is LF, I believe. And what the NBA has like some sort of sponsorship. They basically like say that? you can't be advertising your own like personal assets or your own like personal endorsements. Dude, what about his shoes that were his own brand? So for I don't know why that's like an exception with the clause. I don't actually understand what the what the deal is. Mm. But I guess like these brands have direct partnerships with the NBA. So yeah. if you do a sneaker with Nike or with some other brand, then it's okay. But if it's your own personal thing, there was another player that had a Supreme tattoo. I forget who it was. Why didn't he just say that LF uh, stands for something else? Well, I mean, it does stand for his middle name. So technically, I guess it works. Yeah, I would just argue that one. I'd be like, LF means something else. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But they said, nah. Uh, I, I think this. On this story. Also, That's the Supreme. It's like Akash accuracy. Yep. It was the Supreme <laughs> sleeve. And I think J.R. Smith same wore shit. it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember J.R. Smith wore like the Supreme sleeve? Uh, yeah. It was like a leg sleeve or something like that. Yeah. I think that there was an issue with and one tattoos. I think and one might have even been like paying players if they got the and one. Really. Like, mm. dude. Yeah. Uh, this could be Hindustani facts. But <laughs> <laughs> that's a better way to say it. I but mean, yeah, that's the cover up. Uh, 
So he has to cover it up during the game. That's corny, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's corny. It's your your body, your joint. <laughs> but like low key. Yeah. But they probably on them heavy because they first did a uh, big baller brand, and I'm sure NBA wasn't cool with that. Mm. But should you be able to advertise anything? Like if you got a tattoo for some random brand. Yeah. Or your own personal brand. As long as there's not like a morality clause in it. Like, for example, if if you're advertising Brazzers or Pornhub, mm -hmm. that might go against like the league standards. Yeah, that makes us look. But just like advertising a, like let's say somebody had a fucking Rolex crown tattoo. Like you got to cover that up. Yeah. Because it's Rolex. Like, Jordan what? can't get a jump man tattoo. It, well, I guess they have a deal with the Wait, NBA, I, the Jordans. Um, but, but still, like, I don't know, that's goofy, bro. It seems know. like NBA's thing is just like, yo, you're not going to use us to advertise your personal shit unless we're getting a piece. The fuck, fuck I'm that. not. Fuck that. <laughs> the already, fuck yeah. I'm not. But they are employees for this organization. And they're like, hey, this is the rules of the organization. Technically, they're not employees of the NBA. They're employees of the team. And the team hires the NBA to manage all the teams. So the NBA is hired. I know it feels like it's not that way, but... Yeah. So then when Ja is waving his gun, whose rules is he The bring? NBA is the sanctioning and the governing body of these teams, but the owners come together and agree to let them have, what is it, a governance? Well, whatever. then his point would still yeah. stand. So then, like, the NBA is making the rules. You've commissioned the NBA to enforce the yeah, rules. I guess you're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. But I also just think it's corny. Like, it's his own personal brand. Like, uh, it is, but then it's like, because then they have to be cutthroat with it because you let a little bit go, and now you have a player who's going to get, like... Yeah, the NFL will, like... You know, something fine. tattooed across yeah. his forehead or yeah. some, like... Somebody put thing, something man. on his jersey or something like that. Who's no, to stop jersey, you to... no, but if it's on your body, I'm okay with that. They can't stop you from getting the tattoo, but they can stop you from showing it. Hmm. Yeah. That's hmm. where it sort of is. Yeah. What about Dua Lipa asking Tim Cook if they use child mind cobalt? That seems fun. <laughs> yeah. That seems very fun. I mean, also, that got to be set up. Like, there ain't no way to. Also, is there adult mind cobalt? Is that not a problem? Is that okay? Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, why don't they get adults in there, dude? Yeah. Why Dua Lipa? Does she, is this. This got to be set up. Does, bro. She has, does she have a podcast? Does she? No, they just to get a famous person. Apple hires a famous person to ask them softball questions or hardball questions that they have answers for cooked up and ready to go because his flip on it was fantastic his flip on it was like our goal is to be completely like recyclable like he goes the apple watch is made with 100 percent recycled cobalt and like all the materials are recycled and like there's like no footprint here play it but the cobalt that's in that phone has not been mined like using child labor in the drc yes we can because we, we do two things well f first of all i should back up and say it sounds like a south park character. our objective over time is to take nothing from the earth mm. but for those products that we still do mine for mm -hmm. some of our other products we have an intense level of tracing to make sure that the that the labor used is not child labor okay and notice the question was, i think child we'll labor <laughs> yeah. yeah well it's gonna be labor yeah, yeah man we're just gonna make sure that kids don't do it we don't give them a fuck if adults do it yeah. but yeah. yeah adult <laughs> slaves that's not real yeah. <laughs> has to happen yeah somebody gotta mine it yeah. yeah that's her podcast say again that's her podcast hmm yeah oh so she has a regular yeah, podcast. it's called do a leap at your service there's three seasons that's she great. interviews people Everybody start a podcast. It's amazing. Yeah, it's so you guys all have a voice. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it is a little wild. Like as long as, as long as it's not kids doing it, we just tolerate it. Yeah, I want to see that. I want I want to do that sketch of like trying to tell a child soldier he's too old to be in it. Yeah, That's you're fine. done. Yeah, yeah. Sit down. Gonna, be you like, have to. Yeah. Unfortunately, you've aged out of the child program. You got to go regular. He's like, fuck, dude. Just a soldier? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I take pride in being a kid soldier. Yeah. Come on, dude. UNICEF, like, is handing out rice. They look, <laughs> how old are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's no benefits yeah, yeah, anymore. Yeah, nobody Everyone feels, feels bad, bad for, for a child soldier. Yo, that's so no funny. No one feels bad for that grown-up soldier, you know? All right, what else we got? Do we have one more than we out of here? Um, Anything leaping out at you? Ian Gary's wife? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a tricky one. So, uh, Ian Gary is this uh, up-and-coming UFC star. Uh, 
He has his wife is significantly older than him. I think she's like 40, he's like 26. They have a child together. Um, Ian is is talented as fuck. And he's got all the things. Like mm -hmm. he's he can talk, he can fight, he can promote, he's got it all. Um, I guess some people found that Ian's wife wrote a book, Wives and Girls, WAG, stands for Wives and Girls, and it's basically like how to get an athlete. Yeah. And if you don't look into the book, it's actually an audio book. If you don't look into the book at all, the perception is this older woman locked down yeah. this young rising star, gets the baby. I think he took her name as well. Like there's a lot of things. There, there's this rumor. I don't even know if this is true, but like. I heard he took the ex-husband's name. Or the ex-husband is like in the house with them yeah, or something I, like that. I think. <laughs> I think his wife still has the ex-husband's name, and I think he took the ex-husband's name. Yeah, That's, something like that. So, I could be wrong. Though. Yeah, like so that the kids don't feel like they're not yeah. related or something like that. It's it, There's a lot going on here. Strange. But I looked into the book. The book isn't serious. Yeah, it's like a satirical it's book. It's satire. Yeah. Yeah, it's making fun of mm -hmm. the thing that she ended up being, I guess. <laughs> right? Like... I, it's like this is if you want to be a wife, then you got to go get all this plastic surgery, and you got to get your yeah. lips done and your hair, and you got to spend all this. Like it is tongue in cheek. The whole mm -hmm. thing is satire. So I, it's dude, not even like a re it's like a short. It's not like a full it's eleven fucking pages or yeah. something like that. It, it, it's not real. Yeah. So I think what's happening here is there's just a lot of like pieces of information that if you look at them on the surface, they look really damning. And you look at this like young superstar, potentially yeah. superstar athlete, and you're like, oh fuck, did he get tricked by one of these women? Because all the, he's taken the name of the ex, is the ex actually living with them? She's much older and she wrote this book. But then you look in the book and it is making fun of these women that end up doing that. Mm. Yeah. So I'm curious, even her perspective on it, which is, I wonder if she's like, I can't believe I ended up being a wife of an athlete. I used to make fun of these girls for fucking years. Mm -hmm. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, I, I, I wonder if she could even reflect and be like, I get it. This looks horrible. Yeah. We joke about it all the time. We, <laughs> we tease. I became this thing I made fun of. Right. Yeah. Right. I wonder that. But on the surface, it looks atrocious. And especially right now when you've got, you know, a, a incredibly popular red pill community on the internet, which is dying for their newest woman who is mm -hmm. treating a man like shit yeah. that they could all bag on. This looks like right. food. Yeah. Shot in the waters, yeah. Yeah, with like the wake of like the Dylan Logan stuff. Oh, they're looking for their new yeah. version of Logan's fiance. Mm -hmm. And this was served up right there. And, but nobody bought the book. Yeah. Why would you? I don't want to learn that it isn't what it looks like from the outside. Now, that being said, there are some other quite interesting and potentially dubious pieces of information here you'd like to get to the bottom of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, if homeboy's living with y'all, yeah. he better be paralyzed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he better be neck down, feeding tube. Like, there better be a fucking reason. Yeah. 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 If he's living with you. If, we don't even know if that's true. Yeah. The taking the name is wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the ex-husband's there for what reason? I think of dietary reasons. Yeah, they say he's uh, the nutritionist. But again, this is from like a random Instagram account or a Twitter account that I'm reading this from. I think like was strictly This the is the one... confidence you have when you can murder people. Yeah. Like yeah. when you with your bare hands can murder anybody, you'd be like, yo, bring your exes around, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's a confidence that we don't have. You know, because we're like, I might have to fight this guy. He might be nice. But when you could murder people with your bare hands, you'd be like, yo, invite all your exes to dinner. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to look at all of them. And he made, you could look at this the other way. You'd be like, yo, your ex is making me salmon. Oh, yo, yeah, put, yeah, your, yeah. put your apron on, bitch. <laughs> True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Cook me some food, yo. Yeah, like, yeah. like, there's another way to look yeah, at you this. Can like, you can flip it. You, so it, it's a tr it is trickier. I'm but, okay with my level of insecurity. I'm okay with not bringing your exes around. Oh, no, no, your ex ain't gonna be around. Yeah, yeah. None of that shit gonna happen. But there is a way to flip it. Yeah. If you want to. Yeah, if it's true. Yeah. If it's true. We mm -hmm. don't know if it's even true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the internet saying? I don't know. I haven't read a ton about it. I just, um, I mean, Strickland can get the people going. Oh, dude. Yeah. Entertaining this guy's fantastic. Champion. Entertaining yeah. champion. Fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely. And he truly has the I don't give a fuck of a. What a fighting champion. Yeah. 
the, the, there is a corporatization of a fighting champion. Mm -hmm. And that comes with making hundreds of millions of dollars by being champion. And you start going, ooh, I gotta watch what I say, I gotta watch what I do. Sean Strickland doesn't feel like he has a single corporate tie that he has to care about. What he is tied to is punching people in the face. And that is the only expectation he's going to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then he'll go wild and say that kind of stuff. Yeah. And he kind of is speaking like a person that could fight you and there's nothing you could say about it. Right. Yeah. Which is incredibly exciting to watch. Yeah. yeah. Really I mean, just not caring when you're in a position of power is like the most interesting thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Yo, exactly. Oh, fifth. yeah. Like, but, yeah. yeah. But fifth doesn't need to beat you up. Fifth got this thing where he's like, uh, he's fifty might be the goat, bro. Fifty, <laughs> 50 <laughs> like, really? might be the he, goat of goats because there. that motherfucker hasn't changed a bit, and yeah. he's been in the most cancelable business that there is, which is Hollywood. Bro. Yeah, and he hasn't changed a bit. Hmm. He, his jokes hasn't changed. Hasn't bit his tongue for nothing. He sure. must have something on these motherfuckers. Yeah, he's had vitamin water money. He's had money to lose for twenty years. Yeah. Fit the goat, bro. Fit, fit 50 the goat. Dude. Yo, 50, come on here, please. It, 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 Absolutely. And it's getting to the point please. where it's like, if 50 has a problem with somebody, he's right. I'm starting to be like, yeah. we might need to look into Think how scared. <laughs> if 50 got a problem with somebody, yeah. we might need to look into, because he don't just have random beef for nothing. Mm. It felt like that initially, because when we were coming up, there was this song, How to Rob, yeah. where 50 was just going at everybody. Yeah. And I think this was this form of like getting attention, you know, attention in a in an incredibly like volatile six, art. Mm -hmm. Say again? 6 9 Like, yeah, on some 6 9 yeah, yeah. But older fifth, fifth is like a little bit more pointed and targeted mm -hmm. in who he's talking about. And it's getting to the point where it's like, we and, might need to look into it. And to your point, about how he's fearless and don't care. like think of how every, how scared everybody go. was to go at Diddy. That's not even on some cancelable shit. That's on some we're actually frightened. Yeah. You would hear whispers. You wouldn't hear people. Fifty was just saying things. Yeah, but Fifty part of his uh, animosity towards Diddy is because Diddy fucked his baby moms. Mm. Who yeah. was that? Uh, I think the half Asian baby mom. Fifty has a couple baby moms, but so. That kind of started because remember they did a song together, you know, uh, the billionaire song when it was him, Jay, and you know Diddy, Jay Z, Fifty. You remember that? No, what's the song? Uh, fuck, I got money. Yeah, I got money remix. Uh, I got money. Yeah. So it was like at one point in time they were at least able to be on the same song together, mm -hmm. and then something went left, and I think the left oh. point happened to be no, it was the it was the parody. That's what it was. Oh, yeah. What happened? A parody's nuts in your fucking mouth. Welcome back, baby. Yo, Just been flavoring. We love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate y'all. See y'all on Patreon Friday. Peace.